because I bought a shirt at Comic Con a few weeks ago, and then I put it on. And I, you buy something smaller, thinking I'm gonna work out and lose weight. <laughs> All I end up having is a whole wardrobe of brand new clothes that don't fit me. <laughs> so it's like, if anyone out there has five XL, bro, I mean, you guys need some shirts I, XL Slim. Yeah, I got a lot of them. I can I can relate to that because I went and I got like medium sized shirts because I was losing weight. I was like, oh. I'll keep losing, you know, but I'm just no. chilling, chilling and on this spot. Funny is, it's funny is when you're picking out a shirt, you look at it and you're like, that, I like that shirt, but you know it's not going to fit. Mm-hmm. But you put it on anyway, and then you look in the mirror and dog yourself for like 20 seconds and then just take mm-hmm. it off and hang it back up and hang it back up. <laughs> yeah. Life, life. All right, so I'll go ahead and get started. You guys ready? You guys mm-hmm. ready to start the podcast? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Oh, Okay. Okay, and we are live. You're listening to Clemente's Corner. I am your host. I'm here with two guests. Introduce yourselves. Or don't. Just I'm, I'm Jacob. <laughs> I'm Josh. I'm Josh. Wait, would you, you say you're thinking? I'm Jacob. I'm Jacob oh, Garcia. But you said I'm thinking. <laughs> what's my name? What's my DJ name or what's my but Double J in the name? house. Double J double in the J. house. All right, I'm going to play this intro. Let's hear it. At 30 seconds. Heavy bass. <laughs> I was down on the ground, catching shoes in the head when I heard them shoe like pop pop. I ain't down for the can, cause my crew in there, and then I would come running when it pop pop. Then I keep the hundreds in a lockbox, why you looking funny in a hot box? They ain't really smoke a lot. You know your cars are clean with the mic, and wash your hands. Put the pee in the night, forgot your man. Sleep with the knife, put the pee in the pipe, got the heat with the ice, and the pee in the price, not the free in the life, and I be with the kite, yeah, I'm deep in the sky, gonna eat with the guys, got a piece of the pie, what it means to be right, what it means to be wrong. We put the pipe in the Right, that was Black Sheep. I'll put a link on the SoundCloud in there. That's the homie. That's nice. From Canyon, Texas. Sounds good. Yeah, he's he's a killing nice. it on SoundCloud right now. Doing a great job. But what are you guys up to? Just hanging out. Yeah, yeah. Work. Uh, uh. Where do you work at? AT&T. AT&T. That's AT&T. where you got the shirt, huh? Cell phone. Got the shirt. The game of the shirt. Can you are say you? that on here? Because like, technically now you got everything you say is a... Well, I'm just saying I work there. I'm not saying anything for them. <laughs> oh, gotcha. he, he owns AT and T. Yeah, but if anyone needs the to CEO, buy TV. <laughs> we're here with the CEO. <laughs> Tell us about those bundles. <laughs> Tell us about those the bundles. Deal. Tell us about Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Isn't he on the commercials now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think they already passed Mark Wahlberg. I like Who's, his I like his Boston accent. Who's he on now? Who they Boston. on? Now? I know Taylor Swift is a big thing. Oh, okay. She's on AT and T. Yeah, no garbage. Way. Yeah, there's like a Taylor Swift channel, dude. In my Old whole life, news. I've never seen anyone more hardcore than Taylor Swift. Hardcore She's or what? Pretty hardcore. Hardcore, dude. Street cred, dude. Straight, <laughs> straight, straight punisher. The dude. silent killer. Street, the beat, silent killer. She beat Kanye's ass after that incident. Dude, she kills him with kindness. She waits till they're hurting, then goes in. True killer. True killer. She waits till they're they make True. themselves look bad, and then it attacks them. <laughs> Like Kanye. <laughs> Respect. She hurts Respect. with music. She hurts with music. Dude. So, so are you like um, at AT and T? Do you like do people walk in the door and you try to sell them cell phones? Well, the cell phones kind of sell themselves pretty much because that's what the hard thing now is. Like AT and T's kind of set it up to where forever until like two years ago we would give you know phones away. Yeah. So now people expect to not have to pay anything. Yeah, it sucks. I have to pay sixteen dollars a month for my iPhone. <laughs> you right. get it free. Yeah, but the crazy thing is, is back when it was free, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it actually wasn't free because the phone was being paid out on the service. So whenever oh, we do the, see. whenever we would do the math a long time ago, whenever we had to compare the two, uh, people would end up paying like a hundred bucks more for the phones. Through the service. Really? Yeah. So we were getting cheated. We didn't know it. <laughs> right. But you can't say that now because you were paying 100 bucks compared to 800 bucks. Mm. So it just doesn't make sense here unless you can like add it up and see it. There ain't, nice. there ain't nothing free. Ain't nothing free. Ain't nothing free. Except for healthcare. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I bet that's great. I love that free healthcare package. <laughs> Fantastic. How long have you worked for AT&T? Four years. Nice. Yeah. And you're already the CEO. That's incredible. It's amazing. Yeah. Just get me on a commercial. Uh, it's amazing. Yep. Just doing all kinds of press. And then Josh, <laughs> you know, is traveling the world. United States so far, this far. Selling, so far. Selling cheese. No. <laughs> 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 Fixing the machines that make cheese and milk and ice cream and the detergent and lotion and dressings. Everything makes everything. Coke, mm. water, 
Do you sell you sell the machines? No, I I fix, you just fix them. Fix them. That's all you have to do. If a customer needs help, I go fix them or help them with it. So like, you don't have to like convince them to buy anything. No, they already oh, bought it. So that's a good they, job. I'm going to Houston tomorrow because uh, DFA DFA Dairy Farmers of America had a machine a homogenizer go down. Mm. So I'm, the parts are already shipping there. So I'm just gonna go put the new parts in and come home. Homogenized. Out of sales, man. I like the word homogenized. Homogenized. It's nice. Homogenizer. That's my rap name. I'm going to get out of sales one day. Homogenizer, dude. (laughs) (laughs) Homogenizer to the max. To the max. You haven't, I thought you like traveled to like Europe or somewhere. Oh, I did. But that's uh, Switzerland, Italy, Germany, England. What am I, am I missing one? Switzerland. I've gotten into debates about this. Is Switzerland made out of candy? No. Okay. There's a lot, of, just, there's a lot it, of chocolate there. It looks like it's made out of candy. There's a lot of chocolate there. I like to imagine. The funny thing, uh, when I was there working, so I said a joke. I told them a joke, and they didn't get it. I laughed. You know, I said, <laughs> I said, um, you know. <laughs> I feel I said, like I'm not gonna laugh. I said fat cheeks. <laughs> I, said, I said, well, it's kind of it's a bad. It's it's just it's it's uh it says having sex with fat chicks is like riding a moped. It's fun to do until your friends see you on one. <laughs> <laughs> right so that joke's a thing. <laughs> right so so you're so i uh i said that joke and about five of my colleagues are just sitting there staring at me not laughing and i'm like i was like i guess that's funny in america because mopeds aren't cool that's what i told them i was like mopeds just just kind of you just kind of pick on someone that rides a moped mm-hmm. this is no bullshit what the guy said back to me my colleague he goes <laughs> There's a big uh, tuners market here in mo- for mopeds in Switzerland. <laughs> and I started so I thought that was a joke too. Turns out, no. Oh. There's a big tuners market for mopeds in Switzerland. They actually tune up mopeds and race them and trick them they out. Were, they were probably all moped owners. <laughs> dude, I, I think a few of them were. They can, had to be, dude. Can you imagine, like, the Sweden police? You know, there's a detective that's like. We're going to get that gang this We're weekend. Get that <laughs> They're racing somewhere. That's funny. I thought they would have been offended at like the, the fat, at like fat shaming. But they're like, <laughs> no, don't you that. fucking talk about mopeds, bro. <laughs> no, dude, yeah, it was the mopeds. They were like, they didn't get it because mopeds are legit cool over there. Dope as shit, man. Just buy them, you soup them up, you ride them, pick up chicks. You got to buy that double seat, dude. You got to buy they it. They come with double seats. Yeah, you got to nice. buy it. What's wrong with mopeds? <laughs> 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 it was hot over there too they, and they didn't have air conditioning in the building dang in any buildings well in that one they didn't well i think summer is very short over there they said like three weeks or something and i happened to be there during that's the, depressing one of the hottest time of the year no because it's super cool like it's how like hot was like 30 degrees celsius it was super hot and the hotel i stayed in didn't even have air conditioning they were like open a window and it was like 95 degrees <laughs> that was their advice <laughs> yeah, yeah. deal so, with the bitch so i didn't sleep that good so i literally would get up like at four or five in the morning and just go hiking or something because i couldn't sleep no, i hate when it's hot i can't yeah, sleep at all yeah, it was miserable not even a box fan or nothing nothing dude and you'd open the i opened the window and it was hotter outside than it was in the room open the window you stupid it american was just muggy. it was just muggy. that's their that's the way of getting back at <laughs> america bro. That's you made it, for the mopeds that's it dude take his fans they had all the fans <laughs> in the closet right. over there <laughs> I went over there for training, and I probably got about two hours of training. Because in summer, everyone's on vacation, so I literally just they, they had customers on site, so I just probably got two hours in three days and just sat there, the whole time. Was, it, was it fun? Oh yeah, it was nice. The whole the break rooms was a balcony you could go out on, and the Appalachians man was right there. Nice. Wait, is it the Appalachians? Yeah. Probably in Switzerland. That is. Sure. It's amazing. It's, it's I amazing. couldn't tell you. Yeah. Amazing. I failed geography. And it was cool riding that tram. Riding that train from Zurich to uh, riding Zurich to um, wherever I was staying, I can't remember the name of the town. Because, but it was it was real it was real cool because apparently their their trains are super super concise, like on like never ride, late, ride on time. It's pretty cool to see it operate and everything. That's what's up. I was on a really fast train in Germany. I don't know what they're called, but it was cool. It's weird, like in Europe, how much they have, like how much they depend on trains. No, you're right. Okay, and all we do is like carry coal and illegal <laughs> drugs. <Yeah. laughs> right, right. Well, it's so compact too. It's so much smaller. Yeah, that's true. America's gigantic. It's a good point. There's no way we could have trains going everywhere here, especially where we live, West Texas. Yeah. I always thought about a train from here to Dallas, man. That'd be dope. That'd be badass. That'd be a good time. What'd be pretty cool? People, Drink on it. Yeah, people would, people would take it all the time. That drive sucks. What do you think it'd be like? 
four hours? How fast can a train go? Uh, I don't know. No limits, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We get one of those magnetic ones that goes like Elon Musk. Get him to get his train. Yeah, over get here a somewhere. Tesla train over here. Let's see. Yeah, he can launch a train into space. <laughs> Let's see here. Did you see that? Speaking of Elon Musk, did you see that Tesla crashed? There what do you a, mean it crashed? There was a Tesla driving automatic. It oh, it killed it, somebody, right? I don't know if it killed anybody, oh. but it crashed on automatic. On automatic drive, like driving. Did by it itself? like was it at fault or like something run in front of it? Like what? Do you know what happened? <laughs> no idea. Oh. No information. And no ideas well, who would or context. Well, don't bring up things if you don't know. <laughs> I would have never, never thought that would have happened, right? I mean, I never thought yeah, that would have ever happened. Robots never mess up. Average train. Uh, 300 miles per hour? 150 miles an hour. Oh. Dang. So if you're going 400 miles, 150 miles an hour. Well, the top train in China broke 300 miles per hour. Yeah, but that's China, That's though. one of those magnetic ones. Oh, that, okay. That, that's China. That's another level of. And Chinese, they weigh like 80, 90 pounds each. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking Americans. So, well, <laughs> easier to move. We're let's talking let's about add a, like a couple hundred pounds per person. That's going to be <laughs> yeah. on this. We're coming from West Texas, man. Not yeah. Shanghai. We have a lot more protein. <laughs> that's, that's, that's for sure. I'm, I'm going to Google this Tesla crash. Let's check it out. I didn't know that. I could have Oh, 12 that. people died. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Tesla bus. Tesla crash leaves cops with one big question. Why didn't this car make any sound? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the engine in this car? <laughs> it re- it rear ended a fire department truck at sixty miles per hour. Damn. It got smashed. It got folded up into tiny pieces. That's pretty cool. But no one died. Probably. Thank God the fire department was there. <laughs> the quickest reaction. The quickest time. reaction. Time on an right? unre- unre- <laughs> unrelated story. Breaks the record for the fastest <laughs> fastest response, response time, time. In, in American history. Oh, wait. This isn't the right one, though, because this was actually driven by someone. Or I guess, I guess there was someone in the oh, car. Oh, that was a test? Well, it says, please don't know if autopilot feature was engaged. Mm. Hmm. If I was that driver, I'd say yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was engaged. It was engaged. They don't know if he was under uh, the influence. I trusted him. I trusted that Tesla. That was my next thought. I trusted Tesla with my life. Would you guys would you guys get in a auto driving car? Is that what they're called? Yeah. What do you call those bitches? Um, Uber. Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Self driving car. Ah uh, no. I don't trust technology enough. I don't I think would. I do either. I don't trust I it. I'd I try it out, but I'd like sit in the back. I don't trust <laughs> it. I'd I'd try it out like around the block and I'd wait. I'd put in the destination and let it go by itself. <laughs> but think about that. Are there like Whenever you buy one, is there a protection that says you can't sue us if it wrecks? Probably. I'd imagine so. Well, probably have to then maybe s- not. sign some things. If they're covered. Are you just trying to get that lawsuit just trying money? to get money, yeah. <laughs> like, I wouldn't. Why not? I wouldn't do it. I don't trust it. Don't what, what if AT&T in. made a car? Um, <laughs> they'd, say mean, it, they'd say it was 200 but it really charged you 12 <laughs> 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 They'd say it was free, but you got to pay a $1,500 a month. Every car comes with direct TV. <laughs> That that'd be for sure. Direct TV. Bro, is it is it a struggle selling Direct TV? Yes. I feel like it. I, I haven't watched cable in like. I can't even tell you that yeah. long. <laughs> that long. Right. It's a long time. It's a long time. <laughs> I just it's barely a, moved, plugged my TV in like yesterday. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, at least it's a good product. If it wasn't yeah, good, then true. it would like but really suck. It's but not trash. People that do watch TV, it's a good product for them. Uh, but everything's going towards apps now, mm-hmm. so. AT and T has that Direct TV now, which is a an app for live TV. Oh yeah, that is cool. That is cool, and it's only like ten bucks a month. I like that stuff. No, I, the only reason I would use it would be for like sporting events. Yeah, I did that. And that's the thing is, like most people, I don't. I record all my shows. And I don't ever watch them live anymore. Oh know? yeah, that's true. But uh, like now, the app can like record shows for you and everything too. Keeps it in the cloud. It's nice. pretty convenient. That's what's up. And you got the Hoppa. No, we don't. No. Oh. <laughs> That's Dish Network. My That's bad. Dish Network. My bad. What's the hopper? Well, I'll edit that out. <laughs> is that Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> no, it's a, it's a thing where you can record like up to like six shows at once. Yeah, that's what oh. they call the DVR for Dish. This is the first time I've ever heard of it. Yeah, just, there, used, there was an old commercial where like uh, a whole family and the old granddad was like, the hopper. It's like these guys from New Jersey. The best commercial was that one where they said... We're not settlers or whatever. Yeah. Remember that? The settlers? Yeah. They're actually like turning to butter and stuff. <laughs> why can't I the have neighbors. that, Dad? We're settlers, son. <laughs> That's why. We don't want the best. We don't want the best. They do They do great advertising. 
you know, it's hit and miss with commercials. Some are really good, and then, man, sometimes watching, I'm like, who, just who the hell wrote that? They <laughs> had to have a board. They had to have a meeting for that. Mm -hmm. And someone, yeah, that's true. numerous people agree and say, let's go with this. I still can't figure out why that's such a big market, commercials. Because people don't watch TV. People record stuff, and then when they watch it, they fast forward through the oh, commercials. Well, true. some people are watching them. You know, I don't know. Because they wouldn't be there. They, have, they still have to be making some money. But how would know, you know what, what business came from commercials? Yeah, they would. They, I mean, they go. They can calculate like impressions, like Nielsen. I learned all that shit in college. I you can do a Leslie way. Nielsen impression? <laughs> I don't even know who that is. I don't even know who that is. Naked Gun. Naked Gun, the dude with the white hair. <clears throat> Airplane. Oh, that's Leslie, Leslie Nielsen. Nielsen. <laughs> he just died. <laughs> no, really? Yeah, he Dang was. It. He was. Um, is it Adam West? No, that's, that's Adam Leslie West Nielsen. That man. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Nielsen. They no, look the same to me. Leslie Nielsen's not Adam West. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Nielsen. That may be an alter ego. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen. No, he didn't die. My bad. But, but he Les is really Les old, though. He, he has to be old. He was in um, the scary movies as well. Like he's he was like the yeah. president. And like was he really? Scary yeah, movie I didn't three. know that. I don't think I've ever seen one of those scary movies. Oh, he died in 2010. Damn. Oh shit! Rest in peace. Rip. <laughs> Rip. And he's Canadian. Oh. oh. Poor guy. Yeah. How did he die eight years ago? We didn't know. Well, he wasn't that big of an actor anymore. It was back in the 90s that he was. Erotic asphyxiation is what it says. No way. I was, playing. <laughs> I was like, so that makes no sense. Way. I was not Somehow surprised. that just seems right. <laughs> good for him. It's a good way to go out. Had to be was like 90 something. Oh, but commercials, yeah. I don't know. I don't know about commercials, man. I don't know about like TV. Like people don't watch live TV too sure. much anymore. I only I get guess, ads from podcasts now. I guess, <laughs> yeah. I guess sports events. People watch sport events a lot. Yeah, but think about it. What do you do as soon as the commercials start? Grab your phone. You're on your phone. And that's why ads are on your phone. Take a deuce. On your phone. Facebook, the biggest advertiser in the world. Faceback. Faceback. I'm, <laughs> I'm, starting, I'm remember? starting a dating app called Sit on My Facebook. But what about Faceback? <laughs> Do you remember Faceback? No. The movie, the other guys, Will Ferrell, the app he created, Faceback. <laughs> take a picture of the back of their head. He's so no, nice. you take a picture of their face and it shows the back of their head. <laughs> it shows, shows what the back, back of their head, head looks like. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Such a good movie. That's a great movie. Faceback. <laughs> Facebook's going to hit. It's going to hit. It's funny when uh, he's talking about if I was a lion. And you were a fish. <laughs> and, you were a fish. Tuna. and you were a tuna. And then I'd bang your tuna girlfriend. And then I'd bang your tuna girlfriend. <laughs> that's, that's a good movie. We develop a taste for lion. <laughs> we, we built a breathing apparatus. Out of kelp. <laughs> Three hours, no. 45? An hour? Plenty. That's all we'll need. Make it happen. Yeah, that's a great movie. That is a great movie. They should have made a sequel to that instead of Dads or whatever it's called. Was it Step? Daddy's home. Daddy's I've home. never seen that. I liked the first one. The second one was like Christmas themed, so it was kind of like corny. It had Mel Gibson though. How did, yeah. he, how did he look? He looked good. Dude, that dude's crazy in yeah. real life. It's a wild man. He has some such good movies though. You know, I was talking to a priest on a plane actually uh, a few years back. It's a good joke. And it was, <laughs> this is for real. <laughs> and we were talking about the movie The Passion of the Christ, and then it was during that whole time that Mel Gibson was going through all that crap i guess he got in mm -hmm. trouble you know and all that and uh the priest said he was like you know it's amazing that someone so conflicted and someone with so much emotional instability can bring so many people closer to god it's amazing that someone can do that that's true that is true that movie was rated true. r wasn't it dude that thing yeah it had you, to be rated r it? yeah it's brutal because i think it made as much money brutal. as like deadpool the first one dude it made a lot of money that's <laughs> deadpool yeah <laughs> really. the comparisons you're gonna make yeah like just money wise Dude, Jesus, Jesus would kick Deadpool's ass. <laughs> I mean, technically, Deadpool <laughs> He would turn the other cheek. Deadpool, old Jesus would. He would Deadpool <laughs> New would, Jesus would, coming Deadpool, with a sword. Deadpool would kill him. Old Jesus, he'd resurrect. New, Come back. Oh, and then in the New Testament, Jesus don't play. He's, he's felt the pain. That's what it is, right? It has to be what, Old Testament, New Testament? Old Testament, you're young. You have these ideals about life. Turn the other cheek, all this other stuff. And oh, then, Jesus wasn't in the Old Testament. I know, I know. I'm just saying. Oh, like, okay. Bible. I was going to say, I don't think you've read it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then, you know, the New Testament is like, okay, we've been through some shit. Mm -hmm. It's going to get real. Let's make this real. I thought they did the New Testament to kind of like say, okay, some of the stuff in the old one was bad. <laughs> so this is, this, this is the newer one. It was the it was the uh, it was just like 
interpreting it, I guess. What's it called when you turn into paper? The rough draft was the New <laughs> Testament. The old draft. Testament. <laughs> New Testament was revised after the professor's yeah. notes. Yeah. But it's all like in reference to the Old Testament. Mm-hmm. But it all like ties together in a crazy way. Crazy book. It's nuts. Uh, that one's a bestseller. Bestseller, also. I believe. Yeah. I believe bestseller. Been around a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Is it on Amazon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's, let's look that up. I'll get the audio book. <laughs> It's only 87 hours. So. Amazon, best-selling book, Bible, second best-selling, Deadpool, Deadpool. biography. <laughs> Deadpool, Deadpool. Bi- <laughs> biography. <laughs> There's a pattern there. Have you guys seen the second Deadpool? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go watch it tomorrow. It's amazing. I'm pretty excited. It's really good. It's amazing. It's probably better than the first. I wouldn't that's say that. What, that's what people were saying. I wouldn't say that. I'd say it's just as good as the first. I will say it's better. Still, as long, I mean, just that, as good that as rarely first. ever happens when number two is even yeah, just as good as one. Yeah. I give the first a tad more credit just because that one blew my mind. Because it was It was untapped. the first one like that. Yeah. It was untapped territory so I gotta as give far it as like Marvel. That yes. little extra credit. Deadpool 2 is really good. Has the best uh, after credit scene of any Marvel oh, movie. Oh, yeah. I always forget to watch those. Best. This one is not at the very end, they did, so you, they did you won't good. miss it. They oh, save you nice. some time. It's it, like that movie ends, they'll yeah. show them, and that's it. So don't wait around for all the names to pass because there's nothing there. Yeah. That's what they all say. You just you got to wait an extra ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Wait till the next one starts. Right. Really good though. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds is hilarious. That's a perfect role. It's pretty much him. Pretty yeah. much him. It's, it's, it's a... I'd watch that again before I wanted to watch Infinity War again. How'd you like Infinity Have War? Have you seen Infinity War? I thought no. it was. I thought it was good. I, I my friend of mine like was here one day and he has the the hookup on the websites that have all the movies legally. So I watched like three parts. I watched um, Hulk get fucked up at the very beginning. He got smashed. And yeah, then, uh, <laughs> yeah, he did. And then I watched Iron Man, like do a one-on-one fight with Thanos. And then I watched uh, Thanos do that finger snap. Was that where he got knocked out? <laughs> so you I watched mean, all the, you watched the main part. Oh, yeah, is that the... all the important stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's some cool stuff in there, but those That's are like pretty much it. The you important saw what parts. happened when he snapped his fingers. Yeah. See, I guess what bothered me was none of the main ones die. I hate that. Yeah, Dude, it's a good point. I really wanted like, Captain America. It, does it need to be a, Captain does, America, Iron Man, one of them? Does it need to be like a spoilers thing? No, it's, the, it's, it's been out a while. So been out. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad y'all on the same page with that because I feel like there's a time period where there's just no more spoilers. If you hadn't seen it yet, yeah. then you don't care no, enough I to agree. see it. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> someone, someone made a Spider-Man joke on like Facebook. It was like a meme. And then some mom was like, I have kids, and I haven't seen it. I was going to go see it next week. And that dude was like, sorry, I didn't realize. Go see it. Yeah, like, go see it. Get the fuck if off you, Facebook. You well, don't tell your kids. And go watch the movie. <laughs> you can't be mad about it at some point. Yeah, yeah that's what pissed me off. How is all of them going to die except for the main ones? That's Those are the ones that started it, bro. <laughs> and you know they're not really dead. What's, what's funny, though, is like before it came out, I had a joke. And I was like, I bet money Black Panther still dies first. And then he ended up, <laughs> he ended up dying in the movie. <laughs> I didn't expect he that. He did die. He did. Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting that either. Uh, Black Panther sucked. Wasn't he first? I, I heard it was. I heard it was overrated. Dude, it's it's just political. I've man. heard mixed reviews. It's just political. Yeah, it's just political. It had really cool graphics. Oh, the CGI is amazing. His really suit cool and everything, but the whole. I, I'd say it was Oscar baiting. I just feel like I wouldn't like I'd it. I'd say it was <laughs> masturbating. <laughs> masturbating. It was the political correctness. Riven. It's, just, off. it's just trying to get that Oscar Well, it was a nomination. political, political How correctness. How many white cops did they shoot? <laughs> Not, there's only one white guy in the whole film. Yeah. And they, and they call him a colonizer. They call him all this other stuff, like demeaning. Uncle Tom. So I don't think they I don't think. <laughs> what's that accent they have saying Uncle Tom? I don't think they say. Wait a minute. Tom. Isn't an Uncle Tom a dark-skinned dude that is... Yeah, that's yeah, why, I mean, the, the original Tom. Uncle Tom was a white guy, I think. Oh, gotcha. He had to be. Yeah. Had yeah. to be. <laughs> but anyway, I didn't like Black time. Panther. It just, graphics were amazing. Story was weak. It was just all that political correctness, everybody thinking is their hero. They've had Blank Man, dude, for years. Blank Man. Fighting injustice. Don't tell me you know who that is. I don't. Oh, my God. Damon Wayans, dude. Oh. Remember, okay, okay. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They've had Blank Man. Who else? <laughs> they have somebody else. They had Kojak, bro. Kojak. Kojak. They had uh, Wesley they had, Snipes. They had Blade. Before Blade. he went bankrupt. What about a Carl Weathers? Action Jackson, dude. Lethal Weapon. 
Creed. You don't remember Action Jackson? Get to all I don't know what shit. Action Jackson. You don't remember Action Jackson? <laughs> no. Dude, it's before our time, bro. Carl Weathers, dude. Action I barely Jackson. remembered uh, what about, uh, Blank Man. <laughs> Blank. What about him? Um, dang it. What was Action her name? Jackson. Okay, yeah, I see him. What was her name? What about Morgan Freeman? They have him. I'm Morgan Freeman. <laughs> They have him. No, they don't have him. He doesn't even like Black History oh. Month. <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't want that. That's true. Yeah, dude, it's tough. It's tough. Hard right, out here for. And they lost Bill Cosby. Oh man, <laughs> it's just that's sad. a tough loss. <laughs> it's a tough loss. That's sad a whole generation days. loss. Yeah, a couple generations. It's a couple of generations of memories and laughter just. Just raped away. <laughs> yeah, I bet Carlos Mencia really regrets stealing his jokes now. Right, <laughs> even more so. Can't the, have them all. The ones he stole, yeah. or the ones he, the, 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 one, ones, the ones he stole from <laughs> Bill Cosby. <laughs> right. No, nah, that's funny. Uh, but Black Panther was all right. But like, apparently, like roofing women back in the day was just like social norm. It was in man. Uh, just it was in. slip them a Mickey. I think you could do it because I don't know. No one would say. I don't know how did it. How did it go on for so long? I don't know either. I think it had to be like a. You wouldn't get a job. Quaaludes, you yeah. know. <laughs> oh, that's true. It's like you wouldn't get a job if you did this or if you didn't do this. Oh, like Harvey Weinstein. Everyone. Everyone. Hashtag them too. Hashtag me too. <laughs> them too. Me as well. <laughs> Downside of that, anyone can just say anything now, mm-hmm. and somebody's labeled. Uh, the the guy from that '70s show just got in trouble. Hide. Yeah. You could see that though. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm I was kidding. I was shocked. I'm kidding. I just <laughs> and appalled. He, he looked. I bet that's the joke his friends told him most when he always got in the character. They're like, dude, how many girls do you take advantage of <laughs> while they were sleeping? I think the last movie I remember him in was Yes Man. Yeah, me too. I forgot he was in that. Good movie. Not very long. But yeah, very Even in the movie, he took advantage of that old woman. He did. Tilly. Tilly. Oh, Tilly, <laughs> Tilly. <laughs> That's right. Have you guys seen that that uh, Netflix documentary where Jim Carrey's like getting into character? Yeah. For, for Andy. Andy. I Kaufman. can't even remember his name. Andy Kaufman. I didn't yeah. watch it. He watched it. I couldn't. I just couldn't get into it's it. It's crazy. It is crazy. Jim Carrey's insane. It's a little over the top. Very talented, but very insane. Interesting, but over the top. It's like there's a point you're just doing that, just to be a dick. Just to be a dick, yeah. Yeah. But I don't know, man. Maybe he's like something in his brain. He's like. <laughs> yeah, so I'm saying I can be a dick and blame it on me for doing <laughs> right. this role. And they're probably going to make a documentary crazy. about how amazing I am when I'm just being a dick. But like, I mean, it, literally, if you could act like a jackass and have people follow you around and get paid millions and they think you're, you'd do it too. Yeah, I mean, people are doing that on Instagram. Right, right. That, right. Little, that little Asian girl. Right. Like, Fuck all you haters. I bought a car and I'm nine. What little Asian girl? There's, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll let you listen to her. You can't see it. You'll be able to see it. But I'm out of the loop on this. So um, she, she she's like big. No, like she acts like a rapper. Like she's just got big on social media because she's like her mom, <laughs> She had a really nice house that she was going to and be like, this is my house. I'm balling out of control. And then she'd have like really nice cars. And then... um Someone saw that it was their house that they were trying to sell, and they called her mom. Her mom's a real estate agent, so her mom lost her job because her little, her her nine-year-old Asian daughter's trying to stunt on Instagram. Why why would she lose her job because of that? I don't know. Damn, that's funny though. Is that your daughter? You're fired, bitch. (laughs) I'm just, I'm just. There's all just a bunch of videos. I guess she does have songs. I'm gonna hear it. Let's hear one of her tracks. Mm. This is called Money Way. Lotte. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Your daughter's probably a big fan. Lotte. Hey. You too, Biddy. Hey, yeah. Oh, come on. Lotte. Money Way. Call Bentley Coupon Tuesday. Hunt no more risk for you say. Yeah. Make 20 messages today. 50% off Lotte, our justice on Thursday. Yeah. Damn. And you know her mom in the back with the backwards hat trying to get that paycheck. Nine year old paying the rent. Mommy doesn't got a job anymore. You gotta, you gotta step up your rap game. Oh, 
My pussy don't even bleed. Ooh. That was nice. Oh, oh, like that? I like that a lot. That, it was, in there. that was clever as shit. <laughs> Write her a letter. Be like, hey, you forgot this line. Forgot this line. But seriously, what does she have to rap about? Smoking trees, bro. Nine. Nine. Just things you're going through. Just at that finished age. fourth grade. You know. Poor kid. <laughs> Poor kid. That is crazy. But that's, kid. that's the thing now. All these young kids. No on adult supervision. On social media. We get sucked in the vortex of worldly materialism. Hmm. And that's it. You're gone at a young age. That's what she's going to think her life is. And that's what she's going to be known for. Sad. Absolutely. And she's a Kardashian. Man, I still... I don't like Kardashians. I mean, I don't like Kardashians. Whatever, all that. I still think Kim is was... Very, very attractive woman. I like her sister a lot. Which one? OJ's daughter or? Courtney. Is Courtney the the more tan one? Yeah. She's 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 very pretty. And then OJ's daughter over there. That's OJ Simpson's (laughs) daughter, dude. That's OJ Simpson's daughter. Are you sure? Dude, look at the noses, man. Exactly the same. Really? Yeah. Do you even look at those? I mean, I know she got the broad shoulders. (laughs) Also, she was the leading rusher in high school. (laughs) She like ruined what'd she do to Tristan Tom? Oh no, he cheated on her. Yeah, and then uh, She ruined someone Lamar Odom. She ruined his career. Got him all cracked out or something. I don't know. When they were married. Now Kanye's going crazy. I guess I could see that. OJ's daughter. Nice. She's got that killer instincts, you know what I mean? She looks pretty light. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I didn't forget about that. Bro, stop stop being so close minded, buddy. Yeah. I mean, don't look at someone. Come on, for, buddy. Don't be someone for, for what they look like, man. Wow. Come on, buddy. OJ's daughter, man. I wonder how that conversation is going to go when uh, Kim's daughter's like, "How? What'd you do to get famous?" Mm-hmm. Or just Google everybody. Her, Google's her. Well, at this point, she'll just find like, "Oh, entrepreneur," you know, like. Yeah, but like, still, they can, can still bury the sex tape. They're not going to be able to hide it. There's no way. There's no, yeah, bearing, that's true. there's no bearing with the internet. And then when she goes to school. Especially when other, her dad's Kanye West. All of the rich kids and the Ray J's daughters at school with her. <laughs> it's like Ray <laughs> <Jay's time. laughs> Or Ray J's son. He's like, you seen that video of my dad and your mom? But he has a lot of those. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. It's, that's interesting. That will cause some serious mental and emotional stress for a child. I doubt Northwest. it. Northwest. She'll probably be bragging about it by the time the kid's no, dude. six. No, dude. Kanye's changing, bro. He's coming back around the he's, bend. He's woke. <laughs> he's woke. He's woke. Or dude. anti-woke. He's Uncle Tom. He's got an album coming out. And he's yeah. just trying to get <laughs> stuff going on for him. I've never Everybody's been a talking about it. I'm a fan of Kanye. There's nothing I really heard that just really I really liked. I've always liked his music. I never did. He did a song with, I think he has a song Dad with. Daft Punk. Well, yeah, but that's not what I was thinking. There's a song with Daft Punk? Harder, better, faster, stronger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I forgot that was their beat. Mm-hmm. They, 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 they don't kill me. Daft Punk, dude. Oh, yeah, Daft Punk. <laughs> it's amazing. It's about helmets, this. man. Changed the game, man. Yeah, those helmets are sick. Sick. Post Malone. That's what I was thinking. He did a song with Post Malone, I think. Kanye? Yeah. I didn't know that. I've never heard a Post Malone song. He's got some good stuff. I like him, actually. He kind of crosses genres. I respect yeah. that. He'll do like some country sound and stuff. It's real mellow. Well, he'll, an, he'll do I some hip hop. He'll do a little bit of as rock. A musician, you, you should never lock, Just stay lock in yourself one. in. I agree. Now we go back to the beginning. The real street fighter, dude. Taylor Swift, bro. She crosses barriers. She crosses, she crosses the music scene. She, she did a song barriers. with Kendrick. Did she really? Yeah. Busting Kendrick, down Kendrick walls. Lamar's pretty good. Yeah. I'd say he's probably the best rapper alive. I don't know about that. If I had to pick one. Eminem, dude. Still alive. I say Ken- I put Kendrick over him. MF Doom. MF, MF Doom is really good. I love MF Doom. That dude, it just sounds so good. Music, everything. What was that rapper's name on the Chappelle show? Oh, uh, there were a lot. Most Def. No. The one that uh, spit hot fire. Oh, uh, Dylan. 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 Ababakan. Ababakan. You want some of this hot fire? <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys to go to the Bronx and give me a sugar cookie. Sugar cookie, man. This is crazy. <laughs> Sugar cookie, man. This is crazy. <laughs> Press meal. <laughs> Such a good show. The best. Really is. Did you guys watch his new specials? Oh, dude. What well, made me laugh so hard was that one when he said, uh, he's so good now, he just starts with a punchline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he gets, he gets, he gets, you, <laughs> he gets you so 
into his story. You totally forget about the punchline yeah. he said. Yeah, he does good. Legend. Like most most comedians do like one special a year. The, that dude dropped four. <laughs> I bet he just has jokes upon jokes upon mm-hmm. jokes upon jokes. I was listening to Joe Rogan's podcast, and they said uh, he just does pop-ins because he doesn't want people to know where he's at because pe- too many people show up, I guess. And he just wants to work on new stuff, so he'll just pop in at like the Denver, whatever their comedy club is called, and he'll do like five hours straight. Jeez. Shit. It's a long show. And the people will stay and watch because they don't want to miss it, you know? Well, he goes, uh, where were we at? Dayton, Ohio at Fox and Hound. I guess he goes there every Tuesday. Oh, snap. Every, he lives in Ohio. Yeah, but he doesn't, not to do a show, just to drink, just to hang out. Oh, that's what's every up. Every Tuesday evening, he goes to have a drink and eats. And It's crazy how swole he got. Did he really? Yeah, I need, I, I need to see his workout regimen. No, just compared to like before he like went to Africa or whatever, he's probably like what, like 160 pounds? Yeah. Now he's probably like 190, oh, about 200. I didn't know that. He looked a little bigger. I thought he just gained weight. Yeah, that's what it looked like. No, he got big in the shoulders and everything. So what he got he got two up in the mix, didn't he? He was getting too worldly and took off. It was getting That's too, what he says. It was getting too much for him. But you never know yeah. what really what really happened. I think he just they wanted him to do things he didn't want to do. Like there was a thing where he was talking about um <clears throat> he was supposed to do a skit with like Martin Lawrence or like a movie with Martin Lawrence and like, all right, so you, he's gonna dress up like a girl and you're gonna dress up like a girl and he was like, No, I don't wanna do that. And they're like, No, it's gonna be funny. He's like, I don't wanna crush, I don't wanna do that. And that was like one of the things he was talking about. It's lines you won't cross. Yeah, I like it. It's lines they shouldn't have crossed. And he said fifty. <laughs> mil- he said fifty million was a lot of pressure, but he just made sixty million off of Netflix. I know. So. I saw that. <laughs> He's doing all right. So funny, man. What was that movie I don't like that you like with the Wayne's brothers? I don't like that movie where they dress like girls. I like those two white parts. chicks. Yeah, white I like. Chicks. I don't, yeah, like, I don't, like, white I don't like white chicks. No, I like that one part in the beginning. I love white chicks where they're like Guantanamela, <laughs> where they're all dressed up. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he say, <laughs> 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 ice cream dealers. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. That part of me laugh. I can't watch it. It makes me. It makes me sick. I don't like seeing him like dressed up in that makeup. It makes me. It sick. is weird, but it, it's so. There's so many funny. Terry parts. Crews was funny in that movie. Hilarious. Who? Terry Crews. Oh, he, Terry Crews. Did you not oh, notice yeah, was, he was a white? party <laughs> <laughs> all right no it's funny it's like the shower curtains in the bathroom if he needs to use a condom <laughs> <Right. laughs> the wayne's brothers hit and miss some of their stuff yeah they're good they got some good stuff don't be a menace was hilarious yeah scary they made scary movie one and two did they really i didn't know that well they didn't make it but like without them it wouldn't it, have happened yeah it wouldn't have been as funny yeah have they been in anything serious i don't think so I thought Marlon Wayans had been in something serious where he was a cop. I could I could see him being serious. This is gonna bother me now. Marlon Wayans, search it. Marlon Wayans, cop. In a, he's a cop in a movie, and he had a crush on his officer. Maybe it was Sandra Bullock. Search all of that. <laughs> search that. <laughs> Marlon Wayans, cop in a movie. He crush on us. I don't see it, officer. I'm gonna find it. He was a Sandra cop. Bullock. I saw the movie naked. It was basically like a Groundhog Day. His day just kept replaying. Really? Yeah. He, right? He'd wake up naked in a hotel and have to, he was late for his wedding. It's like every plot you've ever seen, but it's kind of funny. And then he did a he did a stand-up special, which is kind of funny. I don't know. I feel like it's he doesn't have to be that funny because his name like mm-hmm. precedes him. So right. he can just go out on stage and mm-hmm. act a fool for an hour, you know? <laughs> Heat. He was a cop in Heat, Sandra Bullock, Lisa McCarthy. He, was, he a, was serious? He was a cop, yeah. I guess oh. he's not serious. <laughs> That's a comedy movie. Yeah, yeah, you ever seen that movie, bro? It's very That intense. real serious movie? It's drama. The ending will blow your mind. Did you watch it? Yeah, he's funny. Oh. Sandra nice. Bullock, man. She was my first crush. She's fine. My first movie crush. Beautiful. I used to get her mixed up with that girl from Pretty Woman. Julie Roberts. Yeah, I used to get them mixed up when I was a kid. Sandra Bullock's way hot. I can see that. Brown hair, brown eyes. Same complexion. I can't see that. They're both beautiful. That's for sure. Blind side. It's a hot ass mom. <laughs> right? The one in real life is hot too. No, she's all right. She was when I saw her. Where'd you see her at? On the news. Mulligans? <laughs> Mulligans? <laughs> I saw her at Mulligans. I was probably in high school the last time I saw her. Sandra Bullock's had a lot of work done there. Yeah, everyone has, dude. Do you know who looks weird? Gwen Stefani. Oh, she doesn't look weird, but Gwen Stefani, she doesn't look anything she's yeah, like she used to. Really bad. 
Meg Ryan, dude, it looks uh, horrible. They don't. It's weird. Like they don't look, they don't look bad, but you just can't recognize. Like, how they, are you gonna raise your kid and be like, you don't have mommy's nose, face, or eyes? <laughs> mommy doesn't Where's have mommy's mommy? nose, face. Or <laughs> they eyes. think they're raised by a nanny their whole life. <laughs> Where's when's mommy coming back? <laughs> oh, you are my mom. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, there was a legit that. few years I didn't. I wasn't sure who you were. <laughs> they just, they just need to get old. Like, don't do right? all the work. Like, it just looks grow weird. old. They get that, that turtle good. lip. What's gonna be funny like is Bruce well, before he became Caitlin. Be I wanna, I <laughs> wanna hella surgery. I wanna have in five hundred, six hundred years. I hope somebody goes through like the Hollywood grave or whatever and just digs up. You're gonna see like plastic boobs, plastic asses. <laughs> You're gonna see it's asses, demented. boobs, lips. Eyebrows, you're gonna have a frame, you're gonna have bones mm. and a rubber frame oh, around it. You can, you can know what someone's curves were, and they're gonna be like, uh, That's in true. history, they're you gonna be like in history class. Extended. That's a real thing. They're gonna be like in history class and be like, So, all the wealthy people had these bumpers put in, like, they're not gonna know it was all cosmetic, it was protection because <laughs> the crowds would come to take pictures of them and they would sometimes get knocked over. So, they, they needed extra cushion. installed in their hips. So That's they funny, put though. Themselves and, that's weird. How much of the history they tell us is just they're just guessing, <laughs> right. right? Or made up? Made up. That's right. <laughs> I think this happened. I think this happened. Dinosaurs. Whatever. What, what, how many? How many things in history do you think happened that someone didn't write down and was like, "Shit"? I'm probably. <laughs> like generations later, a grandpa's probably most grandpa, things. A grandpa's telling his son a story, and he's like, "I'm mean, his grandson," and he's like, "Grandpa, why didn't?" Where did this happen? When did this happen? This is a big deal. And his grandpa hits him. He's like, shit. I should have wrote this down. That was kind of a big deal. He's like it's early crazy. stage dementia. Like, I'm, I, what? I don't remember. What are you talking about, boy? Who are you, boy? Get out of my house. That's crazy. Because they're going to know everything about our history. Yeah. Every detail. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. You're going to know everyone, every, every dick pic I ever sent. Some database somewhere. There's gonna be a dick pic museum. <laughs> yes, who matching game. Matching game, bro. It's gonna be a dick pic matching game. Matching. This is what they did before holograms. <laughs> this is what I did before three D holograms. Before you could have sex with holograms. Oh the good old days. What's the point of seeing it just flat like that? Just two dimensional. They were so crazy. <laughs> they had to get their kicks out different so, ways. So risky. Uh, fuck those future kids. Yeah. I agree. It's going to be a shit show. They don't know what it was like. I'm glad you did. <laughs> they don't know what it's like. <laughs> Dude, this is going to get worse and worse and worse. I know, man. They're going to get more detached. More. There's no, there's, know, no, there's no way it can get better. Nope. It's Unless not, we have a war and wipe out half Is the, it really getting worse, though? Half the population. It is. Is it? It is. As we speak, it's getting worse. I literally. Don't, I don't think I agree. As we speak. <laughs> literally. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't think I agree. The mass shootings are kind of becoming like so normal. Like a shooting happened in Santa Fe, and it like it didn't even matter. Two days, yeah, nothing. And nothing happened. Like, it's yeah. just a thing. JJ just Watt a thing picks now. up the bill for the funerals. That's awesome. He's doing that, by the way. Yeah, but Who? how? JJ Watt. Oh, really? He's paying for everyone's funerals. Yeah. But Great you think guy. about it, like if we were, like if we lived through the forties, mm-hmm. like he had both world wars, right? Yeah. Like. I'm sure then people were like, oh, it's never going to get worse than this. Yeah, I guess this that's is, a good point. This is, But this is different, though. It really is. We're not talking about prohibition or some something that needs to happen. We're talking about humans being detached from human interaction and then going out and supposed to live amongst humans and maintain jobs, maintain maintain their emotions and mental stability How? when they have not done that their entire life. And their parents are the ones – on their phone also mm-hmm. man now mental issues have always been a problem emotional instability has always been a problem right like in the 40s but and things even, always change even with their with their emotional issues in the 40s they were still more humanly connected than we yeah were, than our kids were be. because are they though people yes. aren't people aren't raising their kids their their right. cell phones are raising their kids You're right yes they are and not not to mention but they're getting more human interaction who like they're getting more communication no i mean That's, yeah, how could you say technology. not? Social media isn't human connection. It's not. Yeah, it's not. I talk to way more people now than I, I did. Know, but when you're, I was, you're not becoming like a better person. You're not developing we're not talking, any yeah, type of skills. We're not talking 
like just being friends with people. Yeah, you can connect. Adults, it's great. You can connect with friends you don't talk to that much. If right. you need to find somebody, you can find them. But for a child, for a young man to text a girl and ask her to go to prom, she says no. There's no feeling of rejection there. There's no. Of course there is. You know what? Okay, there's no real <laughs> eye contact. There's no nervous. There's no feeling that experience. But people, you just but there are else. kids that still do it in person. That's mm-hmm. true, but right. that's that's a small number to everyone else. You're always going to have people that take the coward way out, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And no matter what, that was the person that would write a note, leave it in their locker. It's true. That's a text. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. It's not a text. It's how is this not it's making? Good. It's a good point. How is this not making people better? Now, see, ideally, <laughs> this can make people better because on the right side, it has potential. Right. Right? But that nine-year-old girl that's just in that video, yeah, she's on the wrong side of it. And she that's is, what kids are for using sure. it for. That's what kids are using it for. They're using it for Instagram, mm-hmm. Facebook, Snapchat. But they not all kids. The majority. They're not. But not all. Look how many followers she has. Look how many followers that girl, Catch Me Outside, has. Mm-hmm. Look how many followers all these stupid people have. And that's how many people are What would you say? Using. Two million at the most? Oh, way more than that. Two million what? Followers? Oh, yeah, way more than that. It's probably in the tens of millions. I can check real quick. Well, I mean, not all of those are going to be kids. Right. There's going to be some adults. Which is <laughs> even worse. My <laughs> point? <laughs> yeah, but still. The, that's but the average, the average age on Instagram <laughs> is probably like, what, like 15? Like, it has to be. Yeah. It has well, to be. I mean. Kids that are eight have cell phones. Instagram's a little bit older, though, so. It could even be mid twenties. People aren't going to take what now a small percentage of the people will take what it was supposed to, meant for something good and use it for good. But it wasn't meant for something. But in my opinion, that this is what's wrong with society: is the stupids outbreeding the smart. Yeah, and, and their idiocracy, vote, and their vote counts just the same. When like back in the old days, we talk about this: if you couldn't support, if you couldn't kill for food, if you couldn't go hunting, you would die, you would starve. Right. And nowadays, our system was set up for them to thrive. Now, don't get me wrong. Catch I'm not saying that thirteen they, million. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that there's not something wrong with a lot of the our generation, younger generation, older generation. Like everybody's fucked up, but I don't think this is making it worse. The phone. I could I could see the disconnect. You know, it could it could lead to like you know people being more depressed, people being having a less positive outlook on life because they're sitting on social media all day. And just talking shit to each other. But would they not have problems anyways? I think I think it enhances they, they, it could enhance enhance the problem. They would have problems. You're more likely but, to seclude yourself. But I think it would be more you as an individual, because a person would be more willing to find an alternative form of whatever you need to deal with than just sitting there and looking on on your phone. But would you though? Just because like say say someone's depressed, mm-hmm. right? And it's they're looking at their phone a lot and they're spending a whole lot of time on their phone, right? Mm-hmm. What's to say that once you take the phone away, oh, they're going to go out now and be with friends and stuff? It's not. It's not going to change that they want to be alone. Yeah. You know? I mean, the internet was here since the well, mid-90s. I think they want to be alone. But they're going to choose to be alone. One side. Okay. At least this way, someone could send them a video or something and say, hey. Let's go. Let's go do something. There, again, it can be used for that, and some people do. Right. But no, in my opinion, there's a lot of adults and even more kids that aren't emotionally strong enough to make that decision for themselves. So they're just going to sit there. On but the, that's on the, not this doing that. You're right. It's the decision. Mm-hmm. So if, right. it, if right. you asked if this wasn't here, would it be better? And I think it would be. It's an extension of who that's, you are. That's why I think the 40s was better because you build character to go through the struggle. This this absolutely this, this is a this is a diversion to the struggle. You can't you can't compare times, right? Because every I feel like everybody in the forties had more character. I mean, exactly. You're saying, yeah. <laughs> so you're saying, but <laughs> get your papers here. Also, you don't think that papers. if you brought up the internet to them that they would be like, ah, oh, no, we got we got character. No, people are <laughs> most people they the majority aren't capable of making the right decision for their lives in these shootings. Suicide, poverty, that's proof. That is all proof. Joblessness, unemployment, depression rates, suicide rates, that is proof. Murders, all that is proof that, but that people are not capable. But that can't be directly correlated with the phone. No, no, no. I'm or the saying, internet. I'm just saying the phone right. is, a, is an area where it could be used for someone depressed to look up how to deal with depression, but they don't. 
they 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 get but sucked, that's the person like we said earlier they get right? sucked into the vortex yeah i mean it's it ultimately falls on the person of course they get sucked into the vortex of whatever they think this world is this world we the society we live in yeah and then it's gone. this is a tool like these these 17 year olds overdosing on xanax you know because all they hear is songs about xanax oh, you're right well it's like this 10 year old kid that committed suicide a few months ago where did that idea come from because i'm pretty sure when i was 10 years old i didn't know what the fuck that was yeah, I mean, it, it never crossed my right? mind. What was I, fifth grade? They saw it somewhere. They thought it was what not cool, but thought it was a way out mm -hmm. and did it. They imitate. Children imitate. So, yes, it's a tool. But just like any tool, in the wrong hands, it can do some serious fucking damage. It can be very exactly. And anybody under 15 years old, in my opinion, is the wrong hands. Because, I mean, unless you give it to a kid, a limit, good age. limit stuff, where they can watch yeah, little kid yeah. videos. But even then, YouTube has some weird-ass shit on there. Mm -hmm. That's why I took it away from Journey, my daughter. Six. I mean, she has games and stuff. I mean, I was I was Googling a lot of boobies at 15, to be honest with you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I didn't need a cell phone for that. This is me excluded because I need this for depression. <laughs> I need this phone to deal with my depression. So I'm excluded from this conversation. The only point I'm trying to make is that, yes, it is a tool, right? Mm -hmm. You can't blame it for people's decisions That's right. you can't. to use it in the wrong but way. But the, the, the thing we were talking about was does it help or hurt? And that's the thing. It should be 50-50. It should be in the right hands. Yeah. Depends right? on whose hands they're in. Does it help or but does it I hurt? I agree that most people aren't responsible enough. They're not. Exactly. But it still depends. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I want to start my campaign to ban all cell phones. <laughs> to ban all cell phones, run, TVs, run tablets. Run for I'm doing it. Take no it. more electronics. I'm coming after your cell phones. <laughs> I'm coming after them. Hold on to them. Watch tight. out. They Watch might, out they for might, my, They might not be here next year. Watch out for my Facebook ads. <laughs> you, might not be able to get one next, you might not be able to get one next year. That'd be crazy. Let's go back to corded phones. Let's call people from home. Oh, hell yeah. I have one. That'd be so annoying. I just I was at Paladero Canyon with my uncle, and he was like, man, I miss when no one had cell phones. We just had to find each other. And I just remember thinking, that sounds horrible. Like, you just had to... <laughs> You just had to trust people. <laughs> Integrity, man. It's like, you just hey, had to believe people gonna were going to be there. Be there. At seven, and they had to be there. There yeah. was no way to text, no way to nothing. Nobody commits to anything anymore. Nope. Because we have so like, I might do it, or something else might pop up. I'm that person. Detachment. <laughs> detachment. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm that, that person. person. I'm that's that person, the, that's too. That's the part of messaging that has made it. It's made, it's made Not detachment. It's like options. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's made committing to anything harder because <laughs> something cooler might happen at 8 o'clock. So. Yeah. So it's like up there on the top of my list, if nothing more exciting is going to well, It's happen. like, you know, you, you, may, you have friends. Well, it you know, all depends on friends, what it is. And I, I'm the first person. I'll, I'll cut people out of my life quick. You know, if, if they are sh not, I, I view that as shady. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't want to make plans. That's fine. But if I ask you again, two, two, two three times, same thing happens. Nah. Definitely. Well, yeah, because then they really just don't want to hang out with no. you. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. It's just, yeah. you have to learn almost, we did have to learn a new language. We have to learn a language through the phones that when people don't respond, they're not going to yeah. they're not gonna say, women, dating. Don't they're, text they're, them twice. They're, they're not don't, say, do, don't double text. They're not going to say, I'm not, I don't want to talk <laughs> Look to you. Look like a desperate bitch. You know? They're just not going to message you. And that's crazy <laughs> Emojis. Too, is people can't even comprehend that. People in relationship problems say, I don't know what to do. I'm like, well, what's going on? It's not calling me back. I'm pretty sure that's a good sign. He does not want to talk to you. like, Or she yeah. does not want to talk to you. What else do you need? They want to hear it. They want to hear, I don't want to be with you. That time is gone, people listening. Mm -hmm. That time is over. The time is over. People can be chumps now. It's the same, wasn't it, wasn't same it thing easier, with, though? It's committing to people is the same thing as committing to an event. You know, no, like, you're right. You're right. So another, a cooler, like, that. like I match with a girl, we hang out, we talk, but a cooler girl might pop up. That's so. it. So if I hit you up, I hit you up. Not, it's not. Wouldn't it have been easier back in the day to not? To what, if avoid people? Yeah, if you didn't have a cell phone. Know, dude. I, well, I think because like the whole integrity thing was a bigger deal, like we said, back in the day, if, you're, if your name was, you know what I mean? If you had friends or something or a group and if like your rep, I'm not saying like if you're cool or not, but like your integrity mm -hmm. was, was shot with one person, then it'd be like, fuck. Like that's, that's my word. That's, that's all I got. Or now, I don't know. That's a good point. I didn't. I didn't live in that era. Or people, now, but people were dicks before phones. Yeah, I mean, they've always been. But we're talking about people that are good ones, not the ones that just, you know, looking a girl in the eye and telling her, "Hey, I don't want to hang out with you anymore." It's hard. It's it tough. Is. You don't want to hurt feelings. But I mean, again, it builds character. You know, you want to. You have to listen to people's actions, and that's what's hard. Words can. People are going to say shit. Yeah. We've had people tell yeah. us stuff, and then you believe them, and then later you're like, "Wait a minute." Because their actions don't back it up. You have to listen to the way people act. 
that shows true intention. Mm-hmm. And people have the hardest time doing that. It took me forever to like to say no to people, like when people invite me to do things it's like no. and make excuses. But then like I started just being like, someone asked me the other day, like, hey, why didn't you come out Sunday? I just said, I didn't want to. And they looked at me like, what? <laughs> like what? <laughs> and they're like, like, they didn't expect it. And they walked out. They're like, well, I didn't want to. <laughs> and if, and if, I felt good. Like it felt good to be honest. You don't have to. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to answer to anyone. You can do whatever the hell you want in this life. But saying I didn't want to is way better than being like, oh, you know, something came up. Like, oh, my grandma. Man, my mom called. Yeah, that's and nice. then my grandma called FaceTime. <laughs> and then it was just, oh, before you knew it, it was 730. Just snowballed from there. Just snowballed the day. Everybody was trying to call me. I had a lot to do. And the whole time they're just looking at you like, my damn phone. <laughs> and the funny thing is, everybody does it. So you know you recognize when someone else does it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, we get I get it. I get it. You're at home playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> no shame. Video games. <sighs> do you guys play? Oh, yeah. Do you? Not, late, not lately. Yeah, I like them. God of War. I play some right God now. of War, Destiny 2. Oh, God of War looks cool. God of War is bad. I've always wanted to play God of War, but I've never had a PlayStation. And it's an amazing story. I do this weird thing where I'm like, next time a PlayStation platform comes out, I'm getting that. And then it'll stay in loyal to Xbox for no reason. And every time I'm like, oh, the PlayStation version is better. <laughs> but I still, I'm <laughs> loyal to Xbox so. for no reason. <laughs> you get Gears. Gears of War is badass. Gears of War is cool. Back in the day, dude, I was loved. That the, game. Yeah, when that first came out, that was amazing. So awesome. You know, that actually helped me, speaking of using tools in the right hands. I was super depressed. So you started chainsawing my, bitches. My first girlfriend <laughs> broke up with me. I was, I was 20 years old. I worked at UPS. I had two jobs. I was a supervisor at UPS and worked at Best Buy. I was depressed, man. Couldn't sleep. My apartment was a freaking, just a, a minefield of of dirt, of old, uh, <laughs> dirt, of trashed, uh, Condoms. fast food bags, Condoms. fast food <laughs> bags, you know what I'm saying? Just everywhere. Yeah. I was a mess. I was yeah. a mess. And then inter- big internet gaming, that just came out like online gaming. And I was like asking Davey, a friend of mine, we just reconnected on Facebook. Speaking of, um, I asked him, I was like, what is this? And he was explaining to me, you don't have to, he's, this is what he said. He was like, you never have to play a video game alone ever again. Ever. He's like, you can get online and play. I was like, really? He was like, yeah, you have internet. I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, so get up and play. And I was like, all right. Bought a 360. Or no, it was just Xbox back then, right? It was a 360. Three, I, think 360. It was, I think it was a GameCube. 360. <laughs> 360. <laughs> Gears of War. Went home. Stayed up all night. And then that's what took most most of my time. Made some friends. Get off work. Jump online. That game get was, off work. The game was amazing. Go to the gym. Jump online. Through the power of the internet. What's crazy is you could unload like two clips on somebody before you knock them down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, they were so bulky. Dude. They were so bulky. But the best was the shotgun, like when you're close range. Oh, yeah. Turn, 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 I, him in, turn him into a castle. I really like. I really like the pistol. <laughs> turn him into a oh, powerful pistol. ass pistol. You can shoot it fast too. You have to. Dude, you turn him into a little casserole, man. It's nice. A casserole. It made, it made you feel good. I, yeah. I like the stickies. I like hitting them with the stickies and then the grenades, sticking uh, them the grass and then flipping away, side flip. Out good of stuff. Good stuff. That that whole uh, the method. I don't know what the term is of just like getting behind cover and popping up. Oh, it's the so first time I ever played a game like that. Sweet. And then blind firing, dude. Yeah. Never hit shit, but it was just cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you dude. never hit anything. There was a game called Army of Two. Oh, that was yeah, badass that's, like that. that I was, was thinking awesome. about that as well. Which game was it that Dom died? Because then after that, I was like, screw it. Like, Gears, I didn't play ever again. Gears three. 3. Yeah, third one. When he died, and they gave me that blonde filly, <laughs> I straight up just turned the game off. I didn't like the enemies in the third one. That's the thing with, like, game franchises. Like, the first couple are always good, and then they introduce, like, new enemies, and I'm just not, I'm not feeling them. not feeling it. Or new characters, like, new lead characters yeah. you to play with. Man. God, bitch. Like, I played, I was really into Dead Space. I played the first two, and the third one, they just tried to go, like, have, like, zombie aliens, and nah. you travel from planet. It was just too much work. Aliens that were zombies? Yeah, it was weird. Dang. Sounds crazy. Dead Space is cool, though. I don't know if you guys have played it. I played the first one. Wild shit. I never have. It's one of those, like, scary horror games, and you're, like, it's basically like Alien, except the aliens are different. You're just, like, trapped on a ship. It's pretty cool. Fighting through some shit, yeah. Yeah, I like the first one. Get first your heart, get your heart racing. Skyrim, man, that's what I wasted so much of my life on. I never got onto that one, but I played a lot of Fallout. Same, similar thing. Yeah, just different, different eras. Same timers. creators. I yeah, like I could play some games. I have to limit my time because I want to do something productive that yeah. actually that actually helps me improve a skill, mm-hmm. a real life skill. I never even get around to like turning my TV on. Like I watched it for the first time like two days ago. 
in a while. What'd you watch? I watched uh, stand ups on Netflix. It's pretty funny. It's like a series. They have two seasons on there. At this point, as a comedian, pretty much, there's not going. Are you going to be able to say anything that hasn't been said? I always think about that as a joke. It's I don't like think someone's so. already covered. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Someone. That's said the it. thing, though. Like someone will tell me, "Oh, that's this guy had a similar bit." Okay. <laughs> what topic <laughs> am I going to cover that someone hasn't covered? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> that's funny. Really, was it funny? That's when I just stand there at each other like. <laughs> Because you can you can do that with literally anybody. Anything. You know, you're right. You're right. Have you watched that? Uh, what is it? It's Seinfeld. Uh, drinking coffee Guys with in cars or something. Yeah, something yeah. Like yeah. I haven't watched that many. I watched the one with Obama. That one was funny. Yeah. It was pretty. That was had some pretty funny ones. And uh, Seinfeld. I can't get into Seinfeld. I tried to watch his newest special. He's just like he's like so clean that it's boring. <laughs> Never, he has his I style. I Sugar get, packets. I, you know? I, <laughs> could, I couldn't get into it. His TV show. Nothing. Splenda. He made a lot of money though off that TV show. Oh okay. yeah. I mean, he's one of the best comedians of all time. But it's I, I don't. I can't watch him. I you, can't sit you down and watch him. Eddie Murphy. Tanner? Yeah, I love Eddie Murphy. It's crazy because he did that bit opening up. I think it was for Raw when he was talking about faggots. You know, faggots. They just get on top of cars like wee wee. You know, like, you couldn't do that in 2018. Oh, dude, you can. They would just, you would. they would destroy him. And what's funny is, like, I heard a rumor that he was actually like, he was uh, messing with some like transgender prostitutes. So, so karma so, take so him to another level. <laughs> karma, not that homophobic got after all. <laughs> got him. I he's probably doing that. He's probably gonna come out the special. That'd be awesome. And he has that in his back pocket, like yeah, he has it. Hey, it he, I, I feel like he could, he could do stand up if he wanted to. He's just busy doing movies and everything else. Uh, all, Murphy, all, all the comedians yeah. go through that. What's his latest? They movie? Start, start out funny and raw, and they're doing their Shrek. own thing, and then they do, <laughs> and then they do all these kids shows. Now Shrek yeah. was good, but I mean like Daddy Daycare and all that. Yeah, Adam Sandler's doing the same thing. They're doing that. I, like, Holy I liked Daddy Daycare. Adam Sandler actually made like an adult type movie with uh, David Spade. I forgot what it was called. It was on Netflix. Yeah. That one, that one wasn't bad. Uh, you know I what? Know which one you're talking about? If Grown Ups was rated R, that movie would have been spectacular. No, you're right. But it's right. PG-13. It was, just, it was ah. just too like. <laughs> it's like what? Just let these guys be themselves, you know. Can't. It's all about money. Yeah. The very vortex. True. The vortex. The vortex. Illuminati. You get, you get stuck in it, and that's it. <laughs> Dave Chappelle said, "No, hell no." I dressed yeah, up that's like what's that. Up. He avoided it. It's the most successful guy to only have like two seasons <laughs> on a dude, TV that's show. That's so funny, man. That was so funny. Crazy he said, funny. Dude, he said about like that Key and Peele. He was like, "This show was created by Key and Peele." Mm-hmm. And Dave Chappelle was like, "Man, that's fucked up." Did you see that? <laughs> he was like, "Not even doing it." He's like, "I did it first. <laughs> He's like, "I did it first. Yeah, he was talking about like uh, Amy Schumer and Key and Peele. He's like, "I'm not saying they stole my ideas, but they were very similar." <laughs> <laughs> I can't listen to Amy Schumer, man. Yeah, I first, can't either. Back when she was dating Anthony Jeselnik, they were pretty funny. Like they were dated. They were all. I thought they did back in the day. I think Dude, so. come on, Anthony. Well, they. She, well, that's, back, <laughs> that's back when she was funny, and then now she's just playing this chubby girl. Be confident. It's okay to be ugly thing, which is mm-hmm. fine. It's fine. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> it's fine. It's, <laughs> it's fine. fine. Dude, you're you ugly. Well, just, where do you draw the line? If you're ugly, you can do the same thing. It's just not funny. Where do you where do you draw the line at being like proud of obesity? You know. Oh, dude, I I don't. <laughs> it's unhealthy. It, it, it is unhealthy. Like we can't it's just we can't be celebrating it. I mean, it. I just be comfortable with yourself, but like. And this is coming from somebody that's like on the line of obesity. <laughs> all right, I am there, <laughs> and I, it's just unhealthy. I, right? It's just a weird. It's a weird thing going on. Man. I want people to be happy. Yeah, but. To be, in my opinion, to be happy, you got to be healthy. To be more yeah. happy, you got to be healthy. You got to yeah. be active. Mm-hmm. I don't I'm, think women taking pictures of these big, big women or taking pictures of themselves and putting it on Instagram say, "I'm confident." I don't think that's confidence. I'm, I think that's a lack of confidence. I'm more on the side that's like because if you're confident, you don't need people to give you a thumbs up, a like, and say, "Hey, you're so beautiful." That's great. Great point. If you're confident, you're just confident. Mm-hmm. You don't need help anyone to tell you that. Mm-hmm. See, I come, I come from more of the side like, hey, you can be obese if you want, and you can definitely. Like, ask people to like approve of that. But when I say that I'm not into that, don't get on to me. Right. Right. Exactly. Just let, exactly. let me just express mine saying, 
I don't have to support it. Yeah. Don't come after me saying that I hate people. I don't have to think someone's beautiful. And yeah. Don't fucking, <laughs> exactly. ask, don't fucking ask any of us if we think that's beautiful. <laughs> no, there's a, there's a meme of like, I think, I don't know what it was. I got attacked on Twitter twice for that shit. Did you really? Yeah. It said, does this dress make me look fat? And it was like Abraham Lincoln. And he was like, no, your fat makes you look fat. <laughs> <laughs> the dress is just a tool. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. That whole thing. Because you get in trouble about us, like, ah, oh, quit being, what is it? Uh, don't, Fat yeah, don't. You're, you're looking too much at a at bigot. The, like you're not learning who they are on the inside, and it's like I, I feel like I need to be attracted to someone to even care to learn who, like, no, you're to right. figure you're out who right. they are. Right. You know, right. and I'm not saying that like all big women are ugly because there's some really gorgeous, they are like bigger women, but it, don't, don't like force me to try to love you or love it. <laughs> You know, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I agree, man. It's 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 again the whole the whole social media thing. They need reassurance. Mm-hmm. It's the same shit. A, it's a, a, it's a, a drug. really 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 skinny girl with some fake boobs posting a cleavage picture with a with a Bible quote. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Getting people to like their photos for confidence is the same thing as yeah. a really really big person, especially nowadays. Posting a picture, knowing that they're going to get this quote unquote facade of support. Mm-hmm. When is it really support? Is it really support when you're allowing someone to be unhealthy? I mean, come on. It's not, I'm not saying allowing, but if you're a friend and you care about someone, you want the best for them. Absolutely, you want the best. Absolutely. And you know, instead, you just throw them a like and say, "Oh, you're beautiful the way you are." Remember, everybody on there posting these whatever. Beauty's on the inside. Beauty's not on the outside. Beauty comes from inside of you. Confidence comes from inside of you. Happiness comes from in, from inside of you. You're not going to find it anywhere else. It's inside of you. Mm-hmm. You don't need social media for that. Cl- cl- turn off the lights, close the door, put your phone on the outside. And if you can't find happiness, you're not going to find it online. Nowhere else. True there. story. So every time I see a post of a really attractive girl or a really ugly girl, that's like whatever, you can just see they're asking for attention. And, and in my opinion, from a man that's single, that's so unattractive. That's mm-hmm. so unattractive because they're doing it now. They're going to do it when you're courting them or whatever. Yeah. The last thing you want to do is for me, I travel to be out of town and I have a girl that's, I'm a single father of a little girl. I'm looking for a woman I can be with, and a woman's going to be a role model to my daughter. The last thing I want is cleavage pics. The last thing I want is a lot, a lot of selfies. Like that's very, very unattractive, mm-hmm. in my opinion. It's emo- you, emotional dependence. Now, do you ever hit up the girls with cleavage pics? When I'm drunk, sometimes <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's like my daughter's not going to hear about this one. No, I'm not going to hear about. I'm, I'm, whenever I'm, <laughs> whenever I'm drunk. <laughs> There's some stuff that goes down, but then don't don't message me back the next day because I'm back with the Lord. <laughs> because my, because <laughs> I'm back with the Lord. I'm sober. That's a meme it's I Sunday saw too. Today. That's a meme I saw too. They're like, I'm 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 sober now and I'm back with the Lord. Do not message me. <laughs> Do not message me back. That's hilarious. But that goes back to the thing. Like if like if you're prone to depression and you get on social media, it's gonna enhance it. You know. Get, unless, get unless, your happiness first. Unless you play God of War. Well, I use it. Well, I use it as practice now, because every time I see a beautiful woman on Facebook or something or Twitter, or it's not real. Instagram. That's right. It's lust. Lust. Lust is a thing. No, I was saying the filters. Out. They're fucking. No, no, you're right. You're, <laughs> right, you're right. You're right. right. No, literally, literally, she don't really have dog anyway. ears. And also the plastic, everything for sure, not real. But I use it as practice because I used to be the one that would follow this or follow that, a hot girl or this, and then slowly I started. Uh, blocking on Instagram just to get it out mm-hmm. like to clear the noise because it's easy to get caught up in that and I use it as like like you go to the gym to work out your yeah. muscles I use that to exercise like my to, to, to build my the strength of my mind I because how does, how does it build your strength of your mind because I feel like right now when I'm single I'm preparing for my wife one day when mm-hmm. I meet her so if I can avoid all that noise now it's going to be oh, that, much, okay. that much easier to avoid it whenever it's like I'm pre- preparing myself for my wife that's good. That way, whenever she, whenever we meet each other, you know, she doesn't look at my Instagram and I'm just following these. Sluts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instagram thotties. Sluts. Yeah. Uh, I follow CrossFit girls, so that's my motivation to work out. I, f- I follow a lot of workout girls because <sighs> yeah. they look amazing. They do. <laughs> I stopped following them, but because I was lusting over them, I wasn't using for motivation. But that's my thing, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, yeah, I just, I'm am- definitely they, not they, just in there for the they, motivation. They, they, look, they look amazing. <laughs> they look amazing. Uh, I will say I've been following them for about a year now, and uh, I still haven't worked out once. <laughs> but they're motivating you. Yeah, but they're you're, motivating you. are getting there a lot. I'm getting there. I'm working up to it. <laughs> they're in really good shape. 
And you, and you develop quite a grip. <laughs> <laughs> you got that gorilla grip. Got the the carpal tunnel strong is strong right <laughs> arm. Getting strong. <laughs> the Instagram. Yes. There's a lot of stuff on there. We made an Instagram for our dog. Really? Bojack. Your dog. Bojack. Bojack. That's a great name. Last name Horseman. Right? That's where he <laughs> yeah, got right. it from. That's where he got it from. <laughs> Such a good show. Rick That's and Morty. Do you watch Rick and Morty? Yeah. That's so funny, man. Did you say they got 70 more episodes guaranteed? Yeah, he showed me. That's insane. I'm pretty pumped. 70 episodes. I bet it'll start like around Christmas or after, right after Christmas. I, 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 it's hard to imagine what they're going to come up with. <laughs> the creativity in that show is it's insane. insane. It is. And they can do anything. It's like, it's like Futurama times 10. And I thought Futurama was really creative. There's moments that you're just like, what the fuck? And there's moments that you're just like, holy shit. <laughs> That's some deep, <laughs> deep shit. Yeah, I was watching. Uh, I was watching them do prank calls on YouTube. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize that Rick and Morty was the same guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's the same dude. <laughs> it's hilarious. He's just he, sitting there he, talking he to himself doing, for did hours. You see him when they read those court cases? No. Oh my gosh, that is that's awesome. so funny. So it's real court cases, and they—it's just one. It's just oh, it's one, one court case. Yeah. And they had Rick and Morty. And you, do dude, you need animated, to listen to it. Animated. It and is animated. really. It's so funny, but it's I, real. It's real script taken from a court case. I was thinking uh, how funny it'd be if there was like a Monday Night Football. But Rick and Morty is the announcers. <laughs> Rick wouldn't give a shit the whole time. Well, they even like they wouldn't know what everything was. Yeah, they wouldn't. So funny. Rick and Morty court case uncut. Yeah, that's the one. No, it's eleven minutes. I don't want to play the whole thing. Give a little taste. All right, give a little taste. I'll play a little bit. You are about to enter the courtroom of Judge Morty Durham <laughs> Jr. The people are real. The so cases good. are real. The rulings are final. This is his courtroom. Now these are real. This is, real is Judge real Morty. Case. Judge Morty. Sixty-year-old inmate Rick Allen is being accused of committing murder of a fellow inmate of Georgia one. Penitentiary. Mr. Allen claims that he is being set up and that his lawyer. Oh, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Understand that? Yes. Uh, okay. I tell you, if you need to tell me something, I want. I'll let you come up here to the podium so you can speak into the microphone, and I can hear you. Yes. Uh, the attorney here. I'm wanting to fire him. Uh huh. And you know, I don't feel like he's doing any. Who are you going to? Who are you going to hire? I'm not going to hire nobody. I'm going to try to get a different public defender. There, there isn't. You have a right to an attorney. <laughs> this lawyer has. You don't have a right to a specific attorney. This lawyer has made sexual advances on me. He, well, he's mis misrepresenting my case. He told me. If if I wanted him to do a good job, I had to let him give me oral sex. He's had doctors at Central State Hospital put a He's false... He's had doctors at Central State Hospital? Put a false diagnosis on me. Okay. Um, I, I don't... You, you know, I know Mr. Wyatt pretty well, and like I don't think he has real. the ability yeah. to make They're doctors from, uh, at Central State do anything. They well, they did it, they type it out he's the, the one that had me sit down there. Well, you know, they may have done it, but I don't think that... And he had anything to do with it. All right, well, he won't give me the discovery. He, well, There's I'm... things in discovery he's supposed to give me the incident and told me that, that it was the discovery. Okay. They're alternating okay. documents that I've if read. You, if, you want, if you want the indictment, I'll make sure you get a copy of the indictment. No, I'm saying I got the indictment, uh -huh. but he's not complying with discovery. Okay. I'm supposed to get the autopsy report, the coroner report, pictures of the crime scene. Court. Coroner report? Criminal background records. I want. Is this a no is this a murder? In the county jail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to get the criminal background records, investigational summaries. Mr. Wyatt, what discovery do you have? I've given him everything I have. You've given him everything you have? Yes, sir. He's given you everything. This is a murder case, and you're. Huh? This is a murder case, and you're telling me the only thing on discovery is a four-page indictment. I don't think he's saying that. I think he's saying he's given you everything he has. He ain't given me this no autopsy escalates. report. He ain't given me so no coroner's like report. Scared, he ain't like, given me. Well, minutes. it may be that. Yeah. He he doesn't have that. I don't. So bad. It's not. I've got a big old donkey <laughs> for that ass. <laughs> I'm sure the women love it. I don't <laughs> girls. Oh, oh no. I'm sorry. I <laughs> boys. Oh, I'm sorry. You prefer men. I <laughs> boys. You prefer men, right? I <laughs> white, white boys. You, oh, oh, white or black? White boys. Oh, butt boys? With big butts. Oh, of course. You know, you look like a queer. Well, okay, so now you're <laughs> calling me a queer in the courtroom? I didn't call you one. I said you look like one. You're yelling. Do you understand the li English language? Wait, you're yelling. You're laughing. Do you understand the English language? This is, this, this is kangaroo court, sir. Do you, you know what? Wow. No, we're not in Australia. I mean, if you want to <laughs> suck my d 
You can do it any time now. We can oh, get this court you're, you're ordered. You're so smart. Do we have to court <laughs> order this? You're so funny. You're so cute. Can we get a court order to get my <laughs> sucked, sir? You're so cute. I know all the inmates just love you to death. Oh, yeah. Oh, I bet. All the white butt boys love me to death, too. Okay, well, I I'll bet they do. And I bet all the rest of them do, too. You ain't supposed oh, to smile in court. Man. I'll bet everybody enjoys sucking your <laughs> You ain't supposed to be smiling in court. That's a violation. I can smile any time my dad gum want to. Now you're yelling at me again. I am. I'm yelling. Okay, I'm gonna go back and watch that later. Dude, it's intense, dude. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> it gets there quick. You did a perfect cut there. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. Perfect cut. <laughs> to the, to the pr a preacher there. That's a real. That's, I don't think they can do any wrong. How is that allowed in a court? <sighs> What's funny is the judge didn't cut it off. He just kept. They mm -hmm. kept going back and forth, bickering. It's amazing to me those people type that fast. Well, no, <laughs> right. it's, it's a system, right? Yeah, they have like a different kind of it's uh, a different typewriter. Kind of keyboard. Oh. So it's symbols. It's not. It's not a. So it's she's not a normal keyboard. It's not typing sort. word for word? I don't think so. They know how to read it. Yeah. What it's are they called? Different. That's interesting. Uh courtroom typist. Something. Photographer? Ooh. I like that one. <laughs> no Cryptographer. Isn't that, the, that sounds right. That's the fancy writing, isn't it? Probably. Right. Cryptography? Calligraphy, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it is cartographer. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if I spelled it right. <laughs> so. A person who draws or produces maps. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's basically, <laughs> courtroom note taker. <laughs> Let's search that. Type stenographer. It's, it's, a, it's stenographer. a stenographer. 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 Dot com. Stenographer no. keyboard. Yeah, dude. This is this is weird. Ooh, look at this video. Stands quick and dirty. How stenography works. Oh, my. See, it's weird. Yeah, screw that. Trying to read that made me dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> it was different, Bert. It was just different. But there's the keyboard. It's like that, but they know how to. It's weird. So every symbol means a word? Something. Like a phrase? No, I was saying it. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. They make about thirty to 40000 a year. No way. Yeah. That's it? Salary.com. They make how much? It said thirty to 40000 a year. Interesting. What were we talking about before? Before Rick and Morty? Was it social media? Bojack Probably. Horseman. Bojack, Bojack Horseman. Horseman. How's, how's that. the little puppy? Oh, he's getting big. Oh, that's cool. Check him out. It looks, it looks like fun. He's a little asshole. But I love him. He is. Yes, he is. So much energy. And he likes vodka. Remember that? He does like vodka. Did you sell all those other puppies you had? Yeah. Uh, we gave them away to good homes. We said we were selling oh, nice. them, but then people would offer to pay and we just give them because we wanted to really? make sure they were going to good homes. Yeah. That's what's up. Two have showed back up at the house. Yeah. Just ran back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> one, uh, I saw one's doing like real good in the dog fighting arena. Yeah, that's right. He's doing uh, real good. We knew he was a big dog. He's a big dog. One on cops. One you know, up. Biting people's <laughs> dicks off. One of the girls, she just... You could tell she just wasn't taking life serious. She's in cosmetology school right now. I doubt she finished. Shalissa? I doubt she finished. She finish. She's probably knocked up. I mean, so I'm just. But who knows? Who knows? <laughs> you try to do as much as you can. Thoughts and prayers. When Thoughts she, and prayers. Absolutely. When she got her cell phone, it was all downhill yeah, from all, there. It was all downhill from there. Yeah. Got that's, depressed. That, that's when her depression really peaked. Started popping Zans. Mm -hmm. Dropped a mixtape. Breaking the fence. I'm just getting out all the time, sneaking out late at night. <laughs> Going to dog parties. <laughs> Spreading ticks. Spreading ticks. Fleas. Coming home with fleas and ticks. Have you guys been to the dog park? Yeah. It's an interesting place. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next. On to the next. <laughs> no, it just seems weird to me. But There's a park for dogs. I want to get a dog one day. I just I don't think I have time to take care of a dog. Eventually, eventually, I have a yard. That's the main thing. The time, the space. Luckily, usually there's somebody at home that can yeah, watch for us. Yeah, that's good. You getting any more? Nah. No. Me and Journey probably will. We get our, we buy a house and move there's out. There's too much shit. Literally, literally, too much dog shit. Give me some honeys with the dog, though, dude. I bet honeys love dogs. Of course. 
I mean, they're going to do that or like find a small baby. <laughs> walk Just... around walk around Walmart with. Yeah, I wouldn't go Walmart looking for chicks. <laughs> <laughs> no? You think in United? United, dude. Okay. In Canyon. All Martin the college Street. honeys there. Yeah, United's a little more. Unless you go to the Walmart, like the home. What's that one that's like South Coulter? It's like the, the grocery one? Yeah, it's just a strict grocery I've one. I've never been inside one of those. It's just groceries. So I thought they were all groceries. Them. No, they are, but they're, no, they're all like super centers. The The smaller ones are like groceries only. So no clothes and United, electronics United and stuff. doesn't have clothes. We're talking about Walmart, yo. Really? Thinking about, yeah, that newer Walmart on Coulter. Y'all talking about, y'all said United. Yeah, but then he switched it, he switched it up to Walmart. Oh, I Real missed quick. that. I missed that. Real quick. Real quick. I missed that. Gotta yeah, keep your yeah. head on a swivel. Walmart. Walmart. I do like Walmart. I don't. I used to work inside Walmart and I thought it was a bitch. <laughs> you used to work there? Yeah. Oh, at With that, Isaac. At, that, at the bank yeah. in Canyon. I remodeled the Walmart here on Coulter. That nice. was my first job out of college. Did you paint it orange? Oh, no, no, that was recent. No, we redid the floor, the tile there. Dang, how long did that take? Uh, it took three and a half months. Wow. Jeez. And we rebuilt all those metal things and cleaned them and all the things that hold all the food and all that. Mm. And then after that, I went to the buckle. That's where the real fun began. The butthole. 19 <laughs> years old. Went to the, straight to the butthole. Went to the butthole at 19. <laughs> straight in. Straight in. Whose? That's when I really found myself. My own. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's when I really, you know, I really promote, you know, self-growth. In the butthole. Yes. It all starts. Someone all starts in the anus. In the, in the rectum. And then works its way out. Yeah. That's what my Uncle Ned taught me. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ned. Can't learn that on social media. Is, he, is that like a molested joke? <laughs> no, what are you talking what? about? <laughs> Pervert? <laughs> just checking, just checking. Yeah, you know, I feel bad for someone who has the name Uncle Ned. Because really, that's the, that's the go-to, isn't it? Uncle Ned? Probably. I think pretty much any uncle. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair game. <laughs> yeah. Any three-letter name. Any, any single uncle. uncle. Anthony Jeselnik had a joke. Made me laugh so hard. Yeah. He said that. I know what you're going to say. He said, you got to have a good job. You got to have a good job to be happy in life. You, heard, you know what I'm talking about? No, never mind. I thought oh, you were going to talk about his uncle that was uh, worked at a summer camp. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He said, you got to be happy. His uncle oh, okay, worked yeah. at a summer camp. Best job. You see, he worked at a summer camp for a kid's about to be molested. <laughs> He said, yeah, the pay's not that great, but the perks, the perks <laughs> the are perks. great. <laughs> oh, man. That dude's funny. Yeah. Crazy funny. No lines. No barriers. Nothing. It's, it's the best thing about comedy. Some. There's a lot of comedians that won't do that anymore. Yeah, like Amy Schumer. Mm-hmm. Sarah Silverman. Sarah Silverman. Sarah Silverman doesn't do it anymore? They're too, you, did, Sarah Silverman used to have like a lot of race. Yeah, that's how she got though. big. That's how she, you're right. Well, that's the thing, though, is they start off. And they're so raw, but then they become part of the system, and then yeah. just lose it. And now that's that's the thing. Is she's like, well, they want to. Y'all keep, can't joke about that. They, they want to keep of, their jobs. And I can't. Yeah. Take they want to keep serious, getting Anytime jobs. I hear her speak, I just think of that little kid off of Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, they, they, it's all about money. It's not about funny. Fucking Chelsea Handler. Oh, it's a T-shirt, bro. It's all about it's all about money. It's not about <laughs> funny. <laughs> no, yeah, you're, it's, it's just they just lose it. Yeah, they, they give into it, which. They, or they get political. They're they're committing all their time to just fighting the president. Like, you can be funny and and have opinions. Yeah, that's, that's one thing I want to bring up. Is like, uh, they say they're edgy, right? Mm-hmm. And then they'll make fun of Trump, and it's the same jokes that everybody else is making. Yeah, it's not it's not edgy care. at all. Well, it's not edgy to make that? fun of Trump. It's old all news. All these shows, all these shows, like I don't even know their names. <laughs> the guy with the gray hair, silver hair. He has a Anderson show, Cooper show on HBO. Oh, he has a show on HBO. Oh, Bill Maher. Is that who it is? Like the atheist? The guy that's always dogging Trump. We're talking political. There's yeah, a few. Real time with Bill Maher. They have their whole show set up like it's the news. Yeah. Even that uh, the African guy from England. He Trevor, had, yeah, Noah. Trevor Noah. He, it looks like a news broadcast, yeah. but it's a comedy show. Well, yeah, it was just like the Daily Show. He's not He's not nearly as funny as uh, Jon Stewart was. Colbert? Colbert either, but I was Trevor Noah. Oh, yeah. I don't know who that. Oh, did he take over? Yeah. yeah he's see, a I South don't. African guy. See, I didn't. But that's his, my, his stand-up is actually really good. It's funny. But when he's like on the show, it's and people are writing annoying. for him. Yeah, that's my only thing. It's like I was thinking about rappers, you know, mm-hmm. and like Eminem. Eminem, dude. He's like, oh, I'm like ah, edgy, was edgy. Nobody messes with me. And Raw, then he's dude. like, he's, he's just, he found a he found a way to 
to deal with his emotional stress. Well, I'm talking about him. And then he goes after Trump. Going after Trump. Yeah. It's like, it's like, everybody's like, dude, doing that. It's like, like, shut the and fuck And he didn't, up. he didn't bring anything new. Just like, yeah. he's orange. Like a Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's his name? What's his name? It's like, oh, Chris damn, Dillia, burn. Did you see that? Who? Chris Delia, did you see his about rapping about Eminem? Did you see that? No. Chris Delia. Dude, it's so funny. He, he, I don't He's know like, he doesn't even say any words. He doesn't even rap. He's like, this is penis and weenus. This is Serena Williams. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 dude. He's like, doesn't even, <laughs> doesn't even, doesn't even uh, rhyme. I heard him do that on the podcast. <laughs> He's it's so penis funny. Penis and weenus. This is Serena Williams. <laughs> <laughs> I, I listen to his podcast. He's so funny. He is good. I agree. Once you get, once you get, going back to that, once you get, once you get sucked into that vortex, you lose all originality, and you're part of a system. The money. Once that, you get to the money, that you're part of a system that is not edgy, that is not hungry, that is nothing. But then you do it, and everybody in that system is like, "Oh, oh yeah, damn. Well, here, you're like this, crazy." Here's the great thing: the great thing about being around us to people, or be, be surrounded by people that share the same opinions as you, and always kiss your ass, and there's no other opposing views than theirs. The great thing about that is. And sad thing about it is, you'll never have to be more than you are today. Never. Won't have to grow. You never have to think critically. Never. Now, it's great for you because just stay there. Stay there. It's your decision. Sad because you literally have nothing to offer society. You're unoriginal. You're nothing. You're a number. In this brief time, borrowed time that we're here, your brief stint in the, the existence of the world, your existence means absolutely nothing. Like, are there any rappers that go against the norm? Yeah. Eminem used to. I mean, currently. I go against the norm. Andy Milanakis, dude. <laughs> um, this guy. I this... got peas on my head. Don't call me a What pea do you mean head. by, like, go against the norm? <laughs> like, uh, they're not rapid about, like, that agenda, you know? Oh, yeah. The there's a lot. It's well, like Joyner Lucas, Big Crit. What about? You, did they're y'all, not, did they're y'all, not on the radio. Did y'all see, that's see why I need Exactly. It. You, you will not hear him. That's what I need to find and like support. Well, like, uh, what's his name? Childish Gambino. His last, this is America. Yeah. Yeah. And what, see, I like Childish Gambino. What'd y'all Gambino. think? I like him too. What'd y'all think? I liked, I liked the video. I thought it was all right. I just don't like the message. I don't agree with it. I don't either. Not that if you think that the message is that, that like black people shouldn't die, right? Mm-hmm. I definitely don't think black people should die. I don't think anybody of course should. Not. But I don't agree with the message that only black people are That's getting right. killed by cops right. and that that whole thing well, yeah you i don't know? either you can smash the whole black lives matter thing this is chicago man the highest black on black crime rate in the united states there's nobody picketing there there's nobody yeah. there's nobody out there stopping highways because they get shot i mean just like stats like i don't want anybody to die right but mm-hmm. i mean just stats like more white people get killed by cops in a yeah. year but like, white people don't make the news and here's right. what's because it's not in the vortex. It's not mm-hmm. part of the system. Even the news, Fox, CNN, all of them. Any of them. All of them. Yeah. They are all part of the same system mm-hmm. where where there is no reason. And that's it's what's like, missing. That's it's like you have the two sides, you know, and even and Fox is like, yeah, we're fighting this side. But they're still staying within the, within the, yeah, within the lane of that. And they're all part of it. Which they're is why I can't it. watch so, any, like, that's news, why I don't either. You know, that's why I don't either. You'll and, see that, like, whenever, like, an immigrant kills someone, Fox is the first one to be oh, a dude. legal immigrant. But whenever, like, a cop shoots a black guy, Fox is like... Uh, they don't some, say anything. Something but C- happened. But CNN, <laughs> but CNN is like, yeah, oh my, yeah, like they're just pushing their own complete up, pushing for 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 ratings for money and for job. Whatever happened with like getting the facts first and then that shit doing doesn't exist. Did you well, see when uh when Donald Trump called MS13 animals? <laughs> every New York Times, Washington Post, all of them were just like, he said all illegal, he said all immigrants are animals. <laughs> and they all took that bit. They all intentionally lied. They all lied to all of us. Yeah, just ran with it. What's funny is a lot of people out there don't think they're lying. They believe Yeah, them. exactly. They take it to heart. Well, it's yeah. like Gary Vee said when they asked him about the president whenever it was Trump and Hillary racing. And he's mm-hmm. like, if you really think whoever the president is going to change your situation, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, That's 100% you, right. If you think it's, 100% it's, like, right. it's not. It's not. Like, yeah. it doesn't, it's just crazy. It's crazy that, that so many people get sucked into that and they just they let it bother them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what's missing. People are committing their whole lives to from, from hating the president. This, from all this. Yeah. Even in all the news, especially the news, and all the people following the news, they get so politically that it, that they're actually giving their emotions in something that they're totally out of control of, is reason. It's lacking reason. If you get into a hardcore debate with a far-right extreme conservative or a far-left extreme liberal, there's no reason. There's no listening to reason. It's, right. 
logic. That's why I say reason, not a reason. They believe that. I mean logic, like mm-hmm. logic. There's no logic because they won't listen to anybody else's point of view because they're right and everybody else is wrong. Mm-hmm. When we're actually just talking about opinions here, right? Yeah. When when you come to opinion, it's all subjective. Yeah. Anybody can believe what they want to believe, and that's fine. And I mean, I'm Catholic. I don't believe in abortion. But mm-hmm. if my best friend was like, hey, Josh, I'm pregnant. I want to have an abortion. I'd be like, hey, don't have an abortion. But the next day she came back and said, hey, I had an abortion. I'd be like, that's fine. Mm-hmm. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Don't talk to exactly. me anymore. God, God, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. God, no. God, forgives, God forgives everything. Mm-hmm. Every sin's the same in God's eyes. I'm not going to go stand and spend my short time on this earth standing outside of a building telling someone what to do with their life. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I've for fucked sure. up enough in my life that I'm, I'm going to be supportive. There's no – like there's – I don't know. And this goes for like telling anybody to do anything. Like there's no basis to stand off of. Like I'm, I'm nobody to tell anybody to do anything, Absolutely. you know, just as nobody's anybody to tell me to do anything, nope. you know, uh, just like you can't tell someone to order their food. However, you want them to order it. You right. can't tell someone to buy guns, whatever mm-hmm. yeah. you can't tell. Well, here you can't America. Right. You can't true other places. <laughs> you can't I mean, I, I'm talking which is about, why I'm, talking well, about, I'm just saying, which is why I'm, I'm about grateful with, yeah, you know? with logic. Like you, you can't. Yeah. You physically can't. You can argue or you want with someone that has guns and someone that doesn't. You, they can buy whatever they want, just like they can order whatever yeah. they want to eat. Right. They can buy whatever shirt they but want. But the people that have never owned a weapon or shot a gun or gone hunting are the most vocal oh my God. about right. it. And right. it's just, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about ever. Um, <laughs> that's Have you ever heard of Steven Crowder? Yeah. Online? I, I love watching a lot of his stuff. He's a little he's a little too extreme for me, but I do, I do like some of the stuff but he does. But what I do like about him is that he always says... I'm a comedian. Yeah. That's what he, he comes oh, out. He I'm a comedian. It. I'm not anything else. And every story I do or everything I cover, please go find my sources. Mm-hmm. Please read up on it. Uh, don't take my word for he it. He did a really good bit on the on the AR-15. I like yeah. that one a lot. He, he just he I like I like his man on the street interviews too. Yeah, the change my mind uh, stuff. Is, and uh, is good. was it not gay, Jared? <laughs> <laughs> not gay, Jared. <laughs> now he has a. a Gwen, Gwen, Sven computer. He's oh, a, yeah. yeah he's I watched a, that video. He's hilarious. But yeah, I don't know. The whole political thing is just, it's interesting to me because yeah. people are so passionate about it. Mm-hmm. It's a lose lose for but us. But at the same time, if they're like so passionate about it, why do you like just disregard facts? And that's on both ends. That's you know, point. like why would you disregard facts or stats? I don't like or, those facts. Yeah, oh, that's right. not right. You're exactly right. And so it's exactly right. I don't know. And then it's just a going back to the, you know, a lot of people just breeding out there <laughs> that uh, there's a lot of followers out there. There's not enough leaders 100%. and CNN and Fox yeah. News. Those aren't leaders. Those are people part of a system making a paycheck. Politicians aren't leaders. You know, you, you lead with conviction, you lead by example and just mm-hmm. people just, so what do they do? They get in a room and they say, you know what? I don't like this. Me neither. They call their friends and text them, and they don't like it. You know what? I don't like that either. And then they're out there laying on the ground in a park pretending to be dead for whatever reason. Like, <laughs> like it's like um, on one side of that, let's let's have open minds and do things that are actually producing results. Yeah. You right. know what I mean? People are protesting like it's a hobby. No, you're right. Kids like, leaving school. Like, oh, my god! They don't even believe what they're protesting. No, in. you're right. They're just leaving they don't school. Even like, if you're protesting. saying the NRI has blood on their hands, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm sorry. You, don't, <laughs> right. you have no idea what you're talking right. about. <laughs> it's insane that they would call the NRA racist. Because the, the NRA was created to, uh, like, educate yeah. black people <laughs> there was, on how to <laughs> defend and protect themselves. There was a militia of black men who, like, used the NRA. Yeah. Like, like, back in the day to defend themselves from, like, white supremacists. Yeah. You know, KKK ra- that thing, racism and all this stuff. And this whole black power thing, whatever, not black power like Black Panthers, but like now that's going on, it's really frustrating. Because for one for one thing, if you want to not see color, then don't look at yourself as a color, mm-hmm. for one. Right. For two, name, give me two names of your ancestors that were slaves that you know of. Kuchikinte. Right. Kinte. And then tell me. No, not you. I'm telling you in oh, general. Okay. People that are hard to work. Kente was you. <laughs> right? he was mine. He was you. I'm saying if you want to debate about slavery and pretend that you know, have any idea what it's like, yeah. then tell me. And, and even you don't know who your ancestors were. And also, you have no idea what slavery is about. And slavery existed in Africa between at just the Africans before the Europeans got there. And, and, do, yeah. and there were black slaves. And do they also Black know, slave owners in they, I mean, let's talk about who actually helped free them. It was northerners. Yeah. White northerners. 
that didn't think it was right that fought. I mean, come on. Yeah. Christians, the Christians no, that right. they hate. You're right. Right? <laughs> you're exactly right. And this should all go without saying that we all think slavery is bad. Oh, right? for sure. And we're not justifying it at all. For sure. But I agree. It's not a... Well, I mean, it helps, you know, build economies. <laughs> 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 Wouldn't have the Great Wall <laughs> of China. <laughs> yeah, no. Wouldn't no, have the Washington Monument. Slavery is horrible. Or the pyramids. And yeah, racism, the pyramids, racism is a real thing. <laughs> but guess what? It's not illegal. It's an opinion. Mm-hmm. It's not illegal until they hurt someone, somebody hurt somebody because of whatever. Do y'all know a racist? Like, really know a racist? Like, personally now, no. I mean, I went to high school with racists. Yeah. But I they don't. weren't They weren't racist to the face of the people that they didn't like. Like, they'd be like, oh, I hate that dude over there, you know. Da, 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 da. And then they'd be like, oh, what's up? Oh, hi. What's up, Dave? <laughs> you know, so... It's it's like, like I don't fucking Dave. I didn't like him either. Punk, Dave, ass, yeah. punk, punk ass racist. Bro. <laughs> no one liked Dave. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know any black guys. I don't. Dave. I, don't I just know. don't. I don't know any racist. I Dave Chappelle, think. dude. <laughs> I don't know him. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> right. Oh, I think most. I think most people that are racist keep it. Keep it under. You know, they just say they're taking our jobs or stuff like that. But do you think there's a lot? Yeah, I think there's a lot of racists. Yeah. Okay, well... Well, I think everyone's racist to an extent. And I will say that where we live, I mean, I don't think we have the proper demographic to speak like, about. Do we not? I if, mean, if I see... Why not? Because where we live, it's primarily Caucasian. I mean, yeah, Hispanics a lot now. We just never... Did you... I mean, I was called I was called the beaner in high school sometimes. I mean... Yeah. It's normal. And then you say you're going to fight over it and it never happens again <laughs> or whatever. And then that's it. But I mean, there's a lot harder places than this. Mm-hmm. Right, no doubt. For sure. But, like, is it as prevalent as people try to make it out to be? Right? No. Well, the people that are, the people that are, whatever race you are, whatever you're fighting for, it's going to be as prevalent as as they want it to be. Mm -hmm. They're making it a big deal. And then they surround themselves with people that are like, so people don't know how to deal with their emotions. It goes back to that. Yeah. People don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. So they find something they think they believe in when they when right. they don't. It's just a bunch of people like a mob getting together and they, you know, mm-hmm. they're tearing up their own city but, because... Like, do y'all think there's like systemic racism? I don't... Not... I can't... I, I, a, I, maybe a small amount, but no. I have to say no. But, but really? Most of the time, no. Well, that's what like, I've, from what I've experienced in my life. Because like affirmative, affirmative action, right, is a thing where uh, companies... Uh, have to fulfill a certain amount of mm-hmm. ethnic yeah. ethnic groups, right? Yeah. What? And that's a part of the system. Mm-hmm. So there's no way that it's like, oh, we're not hiring Asians or we're not well, hiring this. I think it's uh, it's um, a lot of it is we don't look at ourselves as a race. I, I think well, we know each other well enough to say that we don't look at ourselves and wake up in the morning and brush our teeth and say, "Man, I'm brown. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm brown. I'm brown. I'm brown to the core." We don't think right. like that, but if you but would, people if you're do, black. People do. <laughs> <laughs> but some people do. Some people do, and then when something doesn't go their way, that's what they say. Yeah, right. When they don't get a job, they don't say, "I'm not qualified." They just go, "It's because they need an excuse mm-hmm. because right. the truth Absolutely. is the truth hurts." It's the victim mentality. The truth hurts. Right. So, and we're not saying everybody's like this, but no. a lot of people, the people that are picketing, the people that are a lot of people online. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. And if you say anything against what they think, we had You're a conversation. Crazy. My friend Ryan. You're Burks, a coon, best like friend, Kanye West right now. Right? My best friend. <laughs> He's an Uncle Tom. My best friend <laughs> likes black women. He's a Caucasian guy. I, I, mean, love, I'm, I love black women. I mean, country. And he likes to date. I mean, he, like, that's what he likes. And that's fine. And he wants to, he's, he's um, uh, actively courting, you know, African women. And he made a comment online or something. He's a funny guy. And a, a black woman gets, a black girl gets on there. And says something about, you know, you think you're going to find a black woman like that because he's conservative. Mm-hmm. And it's like, why wouldn't he be able to? Yeah. And then I made a comment, and then before you know it, it's just yeah. all hells broke loose. Like black people can't be conservative. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because our it's not just our color of our skin, you know, that it leaks over to your mind. You know, our brains, That's are, the thing, though, our brains are the same color as our skin. If you're not liberal, you're racist, and you're homophobic, and you hate women's <sighs> rights. Just like voting, <laughs> just like they're like, if you vote for right. who's going against Obama, was it Mitt Romney? Mitt Mitt. Rom- if you vote for Mitt Romney, you're racist. The but, second time around, who's the first time? I around? didn't want to vote for a glove. John McCain. John McCain. But it's just like if a you glove. voted for Obama because he's black, that's racist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's just, You know what I'm saying? It's the stupidest shit. Like I said, there's no logic in it. There's yeah. no logic. There's no thinking. And the shitty thing about all this is 
their vote counts just the same. And when I say there, I mean in dumb people, <laughs> dumb people, Girl, you're so dark racist. people is what dumb you people, <laughs> dumb people, dumb people's Darkies. votes count just the same as us. And it's, it's just, and it's hard because you can't. There's no way you can talk out of it, right? Like if I were to say, "Oh man, I like I love black people," mm-hmm. it's like, "Oh, you're racist because you had to say that." Why are they black to you, right? What? I've never heard that. <laughs> <I have. laughs> Bro, you're racist. <laughs> We have cousins that are black, so black, so we're black women though. I have seen some beautiful black women. I like me, I like me some of that. I'm, I'm gonna play this Chris D'Elia motivation video. I don't know if you guys have seen it, <laughs> but it's, it. it's hilarious. Hard work, determination, perseverance, never backing down. Not stopping, <laughs> remaining focused, <laughs> never quitting. He has an eagle on his shoulder. <laughs> Fighting the desire, but also following the desire. <laughs> never looking over your shoulder. <laughs> Fucking army one. <laughs> no days off. Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> Fucking army of one. <laughs> army of one. It's, it's funny when he talks shit on people. He always talks shit on like the motivational workout people. <laughs> That's what that was. He's amazing. <laughs> he is good. I need to look up some of those. He's making fun of those people. It's funny as shit. He tweeted Logan Paul. Yeah, did you see that? That was amazing. <laughs> he was like, it's not important at all. Yeah. <laughs> Last video you should watch. And he's like... No, you shouldn't. <laughs> That's another guy. Another and then guy. he was like, get your, get your fans to get their moms to read this to them and ask them what they think. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, another guy is just, just dumb. That's, that's what, that, that, I mean, part of that part of social media is dumb. Logan Paul? Well, that people like that. Yeah, I mean, that guy's my age. And they have no idea. And his fans are 12-year-olds. Yeah, that's exactly Like, imagine right. me appealing to 12-year-olds. Like, what the... F- that's borderline pedophile shit, right? Like... <laughs> No, oh, you're right. That's, no, yeah. you're right. For sure. And it's just... It's, it's but weird. how much was he making, though? Oh, like 20 him and his brother got big-ass houses. They're both millionaires. It's crazy. If, what, for one small price, just sell out. Sell out to everything worth having in this world. What if it was just another form of, like, kid entertainment? Well, that's different. I mean, but that's not what he was aiming for. Are you sure? Could be. I've honestly never sat and watched any of his stuff. Nah, I just saw the one Me where he in trouble for recording. Yeah, those the people Japanese killed thing. Killed them people. Killed themselves. It was too many quick cuts for me. For my old man eyes. I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but I really don't think anything's that big of a deal. So. <laughs> it's, yeah, and it's not us that got pissed. It was the people that yeah. watched him. <laughs> his people that he parties with all the time, yeah. They turn on you, man. When you're controlled by the mob. Mm-hmm. Just like Gladiator. <laughs> Glad you, dude. He got the mob on his side, and and then he Russell Crowe. Oh yeah, he got the crowd on his side. They liked his fighting, mm-hmm. and then Caesar couldn't couldn't kill him. Before you know, it, you're getting stabbed. Oh, in you're the talking head. about on the movie. Yeah, I was thinking like, what did Russell Crowe do? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about the movie. Yeah, yeah, dude. Follow the mob. They make the decision for you. They tell you what to Every do. Every situation can go back to a movie. Oh yeah. Peter Parker. Spider Man. Spider Man. Uncle Ben, man. Rest in peace. Uncle Ben, dude. A three-letter uncle. That didn't molest no one. <laughs> that we know of. That we know of. That we know of. It'll come out soon. It'll, it'll come out. It'll no come one's out. safe. No one's safe nowadays. <laughs> yeah, it's a, scary, it's a scary time to be a part of that system. I don't know. Hell, even in a, I was talking to, I went over to a friend of mine's for Mother's Day, and she had a little get-together, and one of her friend's daughter was there and she's a senior in Canyon and talking about all these kids in Canyon that are confused and transgender. And are they really? Yeah, dude. I couldn't Damn, believe that. Dude. It's crazy. That is crazy. It's too bad. They don't have anyone to follow. They don't have anyone to look up to. Caitlin. I was actually <laughs> wanting to name Fiber had a son, name him Bruce because of Bruce Lee and Bruce Wayne. Mm-hmm. Jenner fucked that up. I'll, I'll <laughs> never do that now. There's still a Bruce Lee and Bruce Wayne, though. I don't get it, though. How come he switched, right? Mm-hmm. And then dating a girl or guy? That's what I don't get. They do a sex change, but then... I don't, I don't know what she's into. A boy goes to a girl, and then the girl dates a girl. 
mm-hmm. it could be anything. It. You, like, can, you can be pansexual. The situation. Have you gone through this list? Pansexual? No. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, I, I did a joke about pansexuals. There's a lot? What's pansexual? Pansexual is when you're like into anything, like man, woman, trans. Teapot. Puerto Rican. Watermelon. Pineapple. <laughs> Watermelon. <laughs> yeah, all, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. All right, let me find this list here. It's ridiculous. There's asexual where you just don't want to fuck anything. That's probably what I am right now. I think I'm temporarily asexual. Like at yeah. this moment, I hope you are. <laughs> <laughs> at, this, oh. at, this, at this time in my life. <laughs> so I'm on the Steven Crowder videos. For, uh, for at least a couple months. Not Gay Jared was there with Crowder and he introduced him as a uh, um, an asexual hermaphrodite. <laughs> and he was like, so he could fuck himself, but he just doesn't want to. He's not interested. <laughs> uh, before I get to this list, have you seen this? 25-year-old posing as a high school student in Dallas. I did see. I didn't click on it, but that's funny. He had a 14-year-old girlfriend. Oh, my God. Yeah. Did he smash? (laughs) No, he kissed and touched her. I think that's what the report was. He kissed and touched her. But he told his friends he smashed. Mm. But he told his friends, yeah, his rep is done. (laughs) 21 Jump Street, man. I'd, I'd try it. Not a, not a fourteen year old. Oh, the, just the basketball. Clarify, just, just the disclaimer, basketball part. Disclaimer. <laughs> disclaimer. Let me clear this up real quick. I mean, how old does she look? I have no What's idea. Her, what level does she read at? <laughs> she getting into a good school. Gender master list. Yeah. Uh, so there's an ongoing list of gender identities. There's a lot. Right? Oh my gosh. What, what's ad mass gender? How do you pronounce that? You one? want me to read them? Let me see. Ad mass gender. It's a gender that refuses to be categorized. Let's what see. The fuck? But you it's can't categorized. do that. You can't do that. <laughs> this is an ongoing I list refuse of to be gender anything. identities. If you see identity, you're confusing or wrong. So this is where kids go to find the information. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but people are just adding Any shit. Any gender named underscore gender may be into a boy or girl, non-binary. Etc. Like, I'm I'm cool with you just. Example, like, demi-gender, demi-boy, demi-girl. Demi- no, dude, go through that list. Does demi mean all? Adam is, Adam is gender. A gender which refuses to be categorized. Aero gender. A gender that is influenced Flies. by your surroundings. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Dude. How can you and gender be influenced by your surroundings? There's so many more A's and you have the entire outfit. Because like if you're in a garden, you're like, you want to oh, have sex with flowers. Flower. That flower pot. A- aesthetic gender. Aesthetic gender. A gender that is derived from an aesthetic. Also known as a vita gender. From an aesthetic. Oh, looking okay. at things? An aesthetic is how something looks. Yeah. What? Affects your gender. A gender that is affected by mood swings. <laughs> That's <Dude>. women. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my I'm goodness. kidding. I'm a kidding. Gender is affected by mood swings. A gender. The feeling. Fucking gay when I'm angry. The feeling. <laughs> you just so. You know. You know. I'm so fucking pissed right now. Are you pissed? I am so I pissed. Suck a dick. So mad. I am so mad right now. Does somebody have a dick I can grab? I'm so angry. I'm so angry. <laughs> a gender flux. Being a gender. The feeling of oh, sorry, I missed a gender. The, the feeling of being a gender. The feeling of no gender. Of no gender absence of gender or neutral gender. Bro, skip down like 20. A gender flux. Being a gender and having fluctuating feelings of masculinity of... Listen to this shit. (laughs) Dude, being a gender and having fluctuating feelings of masculinity of femininity. But not male or female. What the fuck is that? They just described a toothpick. Superpowers. That's a toothpick. That's a that's that's nothing. That's something that doesn't exist. <laughs> but that's the problem with it. Let's it's see. Like Let's there's... see. Let's see. Center. Center. <laughs> I want to find a see if, <laughs> Let's see. see. See if there's a Bernie Sanders. A demi vapor. <laughs> demi vapor. Oh, it means you vape. A Term lot. coined by at Cotton Blossom Jellyfish. Continuously. <laughs> conti- <laughs> continuous. Listen to this. Continuously drifting to other genders. Feeling spiritually spiritually transcendental when doing so have with, while having a clear slight a clear slightly blurred inner visual of your genders transitions and positive emotions. What is it like three four it's, grams it's, of mushrooms? It's tied to it. It's tied to a <laughs> demi smoke. Dude, these are characters on Mortal Kombat. <laughs> demi smoke. Demi smoke. Let's see. Keep going. Oh my god. Scorpion gender. Gender punk. A gender identity that actively resists gender norms. 
<laughs> oh my god, that's gay, dude. That's homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were just How dare you. girl flux. When one feels mostly or all female most of the time, but experiences fluctuating intensities of female identity. These all mean the same thing. Confusion. Yeah. A, a male. One of two binary genders where one feels fully and completely male. Can and is used in conjunction with other gender labels and identities. What? Then there's also cisgender. Maverick. Oh. Taken from the word maverick, the feeling of having a gender that is separate from masculinity, femininity, and neutrality, but is not a gender. A form of a third gender. I wonder if they come with like cards. Oh, my gosh. Co- collect them. This is the problem. Know. This Proxiver, a masculine gender similar to a boy, but on a separate plane and off to itself. I'm on a separate plane, man. <laughs> These people, are all, <laughs> people are all doing D&D. Vi- vibra gender, a gender that is usually one stable gender, but occasionally changes or fluctuates before stabilizing again. That's but bisexual. That's, you said that earlier. You know? You've said that at least three. These are all the same. <laughs> a vo- a voxy a vo- a vo- gender, a gender that is weak or hollow. The fuck does that mean? It makes no sense, dude. That's what kids are reading this, googling it, and then they're like, "And what was oh, that?" I identify with all of these. <laughs> that was like a tenth. Dude, that, yeah, that was a lot more. I can't believe that. That's crazy. There's a lot. That is crazy. So you that, can't get it right. So that's the thing with like this whole, because like I'm I'm all for like if someone's like. If someone's like transitioning and they're like I'm a girl, like I'll call her mm-hmm. her. I don't care, right? But if the government tries to step in and says, hey, you have to use correct pronouns, yeah. which is what they did in Canada. Jordan right? Peterson, are you a fan of him? Exactly, yeah. I, I, I just Jordan bought Peterson. his book. Oh, yeah. I'm on chapter five. I need to get that book, audio book. But he, uh, I mean, it's like you can't, because they characterize it as hate speech, and you never know what hate speech is because of that list. Mm-hmm. Like, Yeah, I mean, it's they, they say it's hate speech to misgender someone, like, I thought you were a dude. I didn't mean it. In a, I just you'd look like a dude from here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like mom. I'm sorry. I saw you from the back. <laughs> it's like what the fuck? Don't call the cops. I don't know. Like it's hard to because me. I don't care. Be whatever mm-hmm. you want. Just don't try to force me to like. Absolutely. Like don't make me like have to legally, you know, follow whatever you believe. Yeah, it's just weird. Just let me do me. Yeah. You know. Be happy. Don't hurt people. Where's the straight male like website at? Let's you make know? one, dude. Straight male website, like yeah, like for straight males. There's like, a lot. Let's do a march. <laughs> they have they have gay pride marches. Let's do straight pride marches. It'd be boring. No, wouldn't it be straight? I, We'd, no, <laughs> it'd, it'd be straight. <laughs> it'd be straight. <laughs> no, I had, uh, I had a joke about like uh, this is when I I had, I only told it once, like way back in the day. Was this back when you were raw? Before yeah, back you were before, in the vortex. But back before I got all this money. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like I was talking about like uh, how gay people took the flag and how it was selfish. And I was like, you know, you don't see straight pride marches. Well, the last one I think it was the Nazis, and that's why. <laughs> and it didn't go. I don't, so I don't well. go so it didn't go. So I didn't well. know where to go from there. So you're like, ah, oh, <laughs> this weather's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> basically, basically, we should have a straight pride march. See, but I just don't put. I don't put that much effort of my life into that shit. Yeah, yeah it's too it's much like, work. Anyway. It would be more to do it, like, ironically than it would be to actually care about it. I think we have it every every Friday, Saturday night at all these bars. <laughs> <laughs> every every weekend. Straight Pride March. It's like the whole Chick-fil-A got burned because Christianity, they believe, you know, that they don't believe in homosexuality, so everyone's trying to dog them. They didn't get burned because they no, sold out they all, tried all their chicken. Yeah, dude, they got, they got backed up. Don't fuck mm. with chicken, baby. Yeah, don't. No better don't than mess that. with chicken. You don't mess with chicken. Don't mess with Chick Fil A. Don't mess Chick-fil-A. with Chick Fil A. They need to get their bigotry out of here. <laughs> every time I see one, I, every time I see one, I get offended. You're just like, what the fuck? Every time I order a ten piece, <laughs> every time I order some sandwiches, I'm just so pissed that I want to, I want to hold the dick. <laughs> I get so mad. I get so, so gender mad. fluid. You ever get so mad you just want to sit on a dick? Uh, what would you call a Chick Fil A gender? Like uh, when I just really want some Chick Fil A. You'd have to make it. You have to make up a word. Demi Pollo. <laughs> Pollo. It's Latin. Pollo Ender. Pollo Ender. Because G in Spanish is H. Demi Pollo, Pollo Ender. Pollo <laughs> Ender. I'm Pollo Ender. You know, if you think about it, like Spanish is, is um, what's it called? Transphobic. Because it's only 
like males. Male and female. Such, it's, such a, it's such a disrespectful language that I just <laughs> want to hear people speaking it. I just can't believe how how insensitive they are. Um, to, that's to really the, why I didn't learn it. That's why you know I just chose not to at a young age because they're only giving me two genders. You know, it's just fucked up. It is. It is. I don't understand. They don't know about demi get gender. <laughs> <laughs> There's, where's you know? Where's the march for guys like me who like to fuck squirrels? You know. <laughs> Dude, I, just, <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's add it. Let's but add it to the list. Only when I'm sad. <laughs> Fluffy tail gender. That's, that's when Furries, you're sad. Furries, those are real. Furries. Are you, those are real. Are you sad? Because you really got a hard on for that squirrel over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a really bad mood, guys. And when I get a buzz and I'm pissed, does anybody have a squirrel? <laughs> anybody know where a squirrel is? I'm going to go home and check my squirrel traps. <laughs> I'm going to go home and check my squirrel traps. Squirrel traps. See, if with this, with this weak ass stuff like that, you know, there's literally excuses for everything. You can never be fully responsible for anything you do yeah. because it's the fault of everyone else mm-hmm. not understanding how to deal with you. Which is why I try to, you know, I try to look at it as like everything's my fault. You know, as far as what I'm doing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I yeah, thought you yeah. meant just in general. No, I was like, like, hey yeah, man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks. Relax. Thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> Take it easy. Thanks a lot, buddy. <laughs> really appreciate it. Yeah, man, it's it's fucked up. I'll go back to people, man. People, a people lot of people are fucked, are fucked up. up. Humans, yeah. dude. Just stupid, a lot of people. Stupid don't die out anymore. Again, not everybody, but a lot of people. The majority. I mean, in some ways, I'm fucked up. Like yesterday, oh, I was yeah, just sure, me too. I was just watching some YouTube videos of fights. Like, why would you do that, dude? My my guilty pleasure. <laughs> Squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> My guilty pleasure. Transgender squirrels. Is watching <laughs> is watching ghetto ass fights online. I can't stop if I see one. You know, on Instagram, if you watch one yeah. and then it scrolls, you just all that time. Yeah, you have them all. I can there. just watch it. Makes, dude, it but make, then, it but then some of them get like too, too like violent. Yeah, like, just, like, just, uh, people die and shit. I, I can't get, watch those. I, when someone gets slammed on their head or their neck, I'm just like, ah, nope, no the more. The sound. <laughs> The sound it makes when someone gets knocked out, <laughs> and then and then their head hits like the oh, pavement. Yeah, that is the and worst. And then they get kicked in the face. Yeah, and it's like, man, dude, that's, that's, he probably deserved it. I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> dude. It's crazy. You know how many? When I was a bouncer at Chaos here, what was it? It was the zoo. Then it was Chaos. The fuck is Chaos? Remember, it's behind <laughs> Georgia Street United, that club that used to be. Oh, a club. Atomics. The see, that's Atomics. It used to be the zoo. The zoo. The zoo. zoo. It's not that's, a Zaza. That's it was. It was the zoo. <laughs> And then there was chaos. Well, I was a bouncer out there. You wouldn't believe how many fights I broke up, dude. Guys breaking bottles outside. And I'd be like, you're going to stab someone? Like, you're going to stab someone because you want to be cool in front of your friends? Like, <laughs> you're going to go to jail for 15, 20 years because you had a few drinks tonight, got dressed up, and you want to act tough in front of your boys. I was like, they're back there. They're watching you, agging you on. It's like, they're not going to be calling you when you're in jail. Like, I would tell them <laughs> that. And they'd be like, put it down. <laughs> <laughs> like, how are you motherfucker? I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> dude, but it's like. They don't think about it. It's like, what are you? That shit is crazy, man. What are you? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Yeah. No logic. It happens every at every club. Every club at two o five, people just walk outside. Like, Go Loco dick Loco. small. Who cannot punch? You know, like. <laughs> I'm so fight. pissed. <laughs> Whose dick can I grab? <laughs> yep, we saw that fight at that Mexican bar. Coco Locos, remember that dude got cut with the beer bottle? Mm-hmm. He shouldn't have fucked with me, dude. <laughs> he had it coming. I just—I don't know what gender I would feel like being tomorrow. <sighs> I'm gonna feel like one that, I'm a, one that which, whichever gender both. stays up late and plays video games, and no one can tell him shit. And I don't—I don't have to feel bad about it. Fag. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking nerd! You stupid nerd! <laughs> you stupid nerd! <laughs> Oh man, that's just your privilege coming out, bro. Yeah, your brown privilege. <laughs> Check your privilege, bro. <laughs> <laughs> when in all actuality, what do we really have to complain about living in the United States? Nothing. Yeah, for real. I mean, some people have it hard. Kids getting bombs dropped on them in Syria. Kids, dude. Yeah. They're testing chemical weapons. Kids. Kids. Yeah. And people over here are upset because somebody, people are getting raped. Somebody put onions on their fucking burger when they said no one. Like people are getting raped at an, like an alarming amount in like Europe and Sweden yeah. and acid attacks. Yeah, fuck that. 
Don't get me started on that. So if your plane was about to crash, who would you want sitting next to you? If it was about to crash? Yeah. It's, it's, I looked up rapid question, <laughs> rapid fire questions. <laughs> rapid and that was fire. one of them. If it seems like a fucked up. Crash, seems like a fucked up question. Who, right? No, I'd probably pick. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I would do the world a favor. I was, and I would say I Amy Schumer. Say, I was going to say Tyler Perry, dude. Tyler Perry. Oh. I was going to say Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Are we racist? <laughs> I no, said the only Amy white Schumer, person. So, like, <laughs> no, I was saying Tyler Perry because it's, it's, it pisses me off that someone that – it's just what pisses me off. He's making so much money on the jokes that if someone else said, they'd be racist. He's exploiting African mm. culture, and he's getting rich off of it, and everybody loves him for it. Never thought but of it But if a way. white guy did it, Spielberg, yeah. if you hear this, Fired. do a Tyler Perry video. Do a, do a movie – similar to Tyler Perry's movies. No, he wouldn't. He'd be racist. But Tyler Perry doesn't. It's fucking hilarious. It's racist. It's just not my style. He's making fun of his own fucking people, and they love him for it. But that's uh, uh, George Lopez. Lopez, too. That dude's... And uh, the bigger one. What's his name? Fluffy? Chunky. Fluffy. Fluffy Chunky. (laughs) Chunky soup. (laughs) I guess that's why... You know, certain certain comedy comedy transcends race, transcends mm-hmm. everything. It's just funny. Yeah, exactly. But some people make a living off that shit because people like eat Bill it up, Burr eat it up. Oh, dude, it's fucking hilarious. I I love racist jokes. I think um, they're all. I think they're all. Awesome. It's hilarious. Racism yeah. exists. It's a real thing. You might as well laugh at it because you're not going to change it. Mm-hmm. No one's going to change it. And standing in front of cars isn't going to change it. Not going to change it. But if you're going to be a hypocrite and make millions off of it, and then when someone else of a different color tries to make a joke about it and you call them racist, that's mm-hmm. that's a stupid ass shit. Definitely. If you can laugh at yourself, if someone, if a human, doesn't matter their skin color, can tell you a joke about your own race and you laugh, and then someone else of a different skin color tells you the same joke and you get upset, that's fucking stupid. There's no reason in yeah. that. There's no reason yeah. in that. This guy, this guy messaged me on Facebook and he was like, "If you have to pick on, on groups that are marginalized." and picked on all the time to be funny, then that's not good. And I was like, thanks for calling me funny. Like, that's, <laughs> I appreciate it. You really like my stuff. <laughs> well, that's the thing, really. You're like, did the ward let you out today? <laughs> <laughs> they're letting you jump on uh, They're letting you jump on social media? That's great, good for you. How's that helmet fit? <laughs> but if you can make fun of all races, you know, like, I don't think anybody here is racist, right? But if you could, like, equally make fun of everybody. That's what I try to do. Yeah, that's yeah. that's comic. Yeah, comedy like doesn't discriminate. It's hard right. to make fun of Asians, though. You know, it's like it's just driving and math. It's like uh, that's all they got, and they're good at it. Karate, so come on. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about slavery early. Mm-hmm. Dog that chink a day's pay for <laughs> napping on the job. You seen Blazing Saddles? <laughs> no. <laughs> what, are you serious? Dude, that's man? The first oh scene, my gosh! Dude. They're working on a railroad. Slaves are mm-hmm. Irish, black, Asian, whatever, and then uh. Oriental guy passes out, dude, from the heat exhaustion. Like just like in the desert. You out, can't say Oriental. Passes out. This dude comes up on a horse and goes, "Dock that chink a day's pay for napping on the job." <laughs> so oh, comedy doesn't discriminate. The, the the funny things in life, the best things in life, don't discriminate. Happiness, right. comedy. I mean, life is fucking real, dude. It, there's no running from it. Time, like we're all gonna die. Or this is a brief stint. Of existence. What if somebody's listening to this now? Spoiler alert. You didn't know you were going to die. <laughs> <laughs> so choose what to waste your time on. I mean, someone could be listening to this now. We're already dead. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll be on the, be on the grave. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I feel the spirit. <laughs> Go dig up somebody's grave and find their plastic. <laughs> find, <laughs> find their plastic heirlooms. Plastic I'm getting, I'm getting a, 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 a share. A share. A share. A share. Is it a Stephanie? <laughs> medium, I'm, getting, medium, I'm getting a Stephanie. Medium, <laughs> is there a Stephanie in your life? <laughs> uh, uh somebody in your life? Uh, Paul. <laughs> the com- most common names. Jose. Is there a Jose, Jose in your life? Reach out to him. John. John says hi. What if we start? What if they start passing down boobs and stuff like family heirlooms? That'd be cool. When they die. Would you? Would you put them on? I wouldn't. Like if, you had, <laughs> no. like if someone passed breast down to you, you wouldn't. Nah. You wouldn't be I curious. It, I put it on my hip. <laughs> so I like grab a, it whenever I was feeling nervous. Put it on the back of your head, you know, extra extra cushion. <laughs> Hell yes. Hell yes. Have you seen that show Botched? Uh-uh. Oh, well, they just people that get um. Oh, I have. Their actually. surgeries get messed up because they go to Mexico. Is it bad? Like, I got fake fake boobs in Mexico. And they're like all lopsided and oh, dude. shit. Like they basically just have balloons in their breasts. I fucked around with this one chick and I felt so bad if she had some fucked up 
fucked up hair. It was messed up. Hair? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pubic hair or what? Yeah, dude. It was crazy. It was weird. It felt like head hair. It was on her puss puss. Was it long? No, but it felt like hair. Like it felt like <laughs> head hair. Mm-hmm. You're losing me, bro. I'm, I'm also lost. I don't know, I don't <laughs> I know what's I was, going on. I thought I was going to say something about plastic surgery. I thought you did. I'm just messing around. I'm just messing around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, man, I thought all hair felt the same. <laughs> she was cool, though. Was so, she? so she's out there. When you said head hair, I was thinking like long, like bang. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I pictured. It's like, damn, it was flowing hair. It was a zero to one fade, dude. <laughs> right up the side. <laughs> Goldilocks. High and tight. It was nice. <laughs> Lesbian. <laughs> you can't say that. I think she was uh, pan. By curious? Pan curious. Mm. I was just thinking about brownies. Brownie sound good. I don't like any of these rapid fire questions. Where are they? Spit one out. Last That's time you one. cried. Um, I think it was a few days ago for me. Uh, was it yesterday? Because I only been home a day. Mine was a dream. I had a dream like a month ago. You woke up crying. Yeah. Emotional like that. Yeah, it fucking fucked me up. You're a pansexual. <laughs> <laughs> I like. It. Yeah, I was feeling, I was feeling uh, the female gender that morning. One of, one of the <laughs> one of the questions is, what is illegal? I don't, is that like supposed to be a deep question? Illegal, something that's not legal. And then there's one that says black clothes. Yes, racist. Favorite sound? Like a cat. Define racism. Um, politics. Yes. These questions. <laughs> yes. He's just saying yes. Or yes. No. no. Yes. No. Questions no. are losing me. <laughs> yes. No. Questions. Last person you touched. Myself. Beat me to it. <laughs> Beat me to it. <laughs> There's a question that just says sex. Yes. And yes. That's followed by apple. <laughs> yep. Yep. Sex and apple. Sex with apples. Fast or slow. Start out fast, end it slow. Really? See, I feel the opposite. Sex? No, just anything. You know, if I'm racing a car, I'll start out real quick, but then I'll end it. <laughs> like slow. <laughs> <laughs> they never see it coming. <laughs> I do I do different intervals. You know, you start out slow. Yeah. Speed up, slow back down a little bit. Speed up again. Yeah. Slow. You're still talking slow about again. racing? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Let's keep it PG-13. In my guys. race car bed. We're going for that 12 to 15 Steve year old McQueen. demographic. demographic. <laughs> We're going to take over Logan Paul's uh, fan base. Has your world ever been rocked? Yes. What do you think of people with tattoos? I like I like them. Hmm. Bed size. <laughs> oh, fuck. Cool. King. Mine too. Do you always wear your seatbelt? Yes. Yes. What do you think of when I say fruit? Roll up. Oh. Watermelon. Is that a fruit? Yes. Yeah. Because I've been wanting some watermelon for like the past two months. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> Weapon of choice. Crowbar. Katana. Nice. Like that. It's like a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. So you find a crowbar anywhere. Same with katanas. Except, we, <laughs> except yours when you need it. How do you like your steak cooked? Medium well. Medium rare. Same. I've been eating rare lately just because I want to feel like an animal. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You got to get that feeling. If you could teleport, where would you go to? I say, I say my bathroom. <laughs> like teleporting anyway. more in time or? I don't know. It's just, it's just a question. I'd go back to like AD 150. Have a chat with Marcus Aurelius. What's he do? He was a the emperor Caesar of of Rome oh, okay of I was gonna ask if he was Roman yeah he was Roman and then he uh, he's just my favorite book is he he died and then they were going through his stuff and found a journal like a little diary and it's like they published it it's one of the most real things you'll ever read in your life really yeah it's crazy and as you're reading it it's, you forget that you're that you forget that it's the writings of a guy that conquered 30% of the planet was he like really like in touch with his emotions with, a human, with being a human 
nice. like being, what being a human means. And what gender was he? He was gender fluid at the time. He didn't well, identify. Wait, as can you can you teleport more than once or just once? Because yeah, that would affect my, more than once. my answer. More than once, I would teleport wherever Emma Watson was. Because that would give us something to talk about. Speaking of rape. Emma Watson. Speaking of is rape. That <laughs> speaking of, is that the one from Harry Potter? Yeah. yeah. But think of her in the later, choice? later Harry Potters. She's when she was older. Still. She's pretty. I mean, she's she, gorgeous. Ain't, she ain't like. She is. If I could pick a woman right now, it'd be between uh, Haley Atwell and probably Jennifer Garner. Jennifer Garner's looking prime time. I just got into Zoe Saldana. I like her a lot. She's all right. She is all right. I like I like that I like that chocolate Hispanic mix. You like that? I brown, do. Brown gravy. She likes it. She's all right. She's Jen- all right. Jennifer Garner, dude. She's athletic. I love that. Which one is Gamora? Is that her? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's Gamora. Okay. I'm on board. Yeah, with I'd, that. I'd even do the alien version. <laughs> Why not? Karen Gillan. Mm. I like her. Roseanne. She's Ooh. big. Bar. Roseanne. <laughs> <laughs> Experienced. Let's go back. Ask me again about the plane <laughs> crashing question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... On a what scale of one to ten, how cool are you? Four and a half. That's four. how cool are you, bro? Four. <laughs> See, I'm a ten. You guys need to step your game up. I don't know. I don't know why <laughs> you're in the same room as me. That's why there's <laughs> two of us. He's like, that's why there's two over. Get the fuck out of my house. We're up to eight and a half. So there you go. If you could have a conversation with the president, what would you talk about? Stormy Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, dude, that's the one they found out about. Tell me about the ones. Yeah, there's got to be a lot There's got to be a lot, some good ones. I would ask for some business advice. Do you think he ever went to that island they talk about? Like Bill Clinton went to this island. That that famous guy they knew, he had like Bronson. a private jet. Richard Bronson. Is that who it is? He's the one that owns Virgin Airlines and all that. He has his own island. And celebrities pay $35,000 a night to go there. And that's where, like, they have like sex with children. <laughs> what? No, I'm thinking. No. I'm thinking of something else. I was thinking I'm thinking of something else. else. Never mind. It's just, it's a conspiracy it. theory. I don't even want to Google that. I'll get <laughs> FBI will call me. <laughs> They'll bust the door down. You don't even have your camera. They'll say which you one. Camera? They'll say, yeah, I do have a camera. They'll on say here. which one of you is racist. <laughs> All of us. <laughs> they're, they're listening right now. What would you do with your 15 minutes of fame? 15 minutes. Take a nap. <laughs> Stand on a political soapbox. <laughs> I don't know, man. No, I couldn't do that. Stormy I hate Dan- it when people Stormy do Stormy Daniels. <laughs> it's, helped, it's helped her career, apparently. I don't know. She sounds gross. She is gross. 15 minutes of fame. I don't know, man. Like, how are you famous? Everybody's watching you? I guess. 15 minutes you're on national television? I don't know. What is the thing you're most afraid of? Dun, 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 dun. Regret. Oh, that's a good one. Probably being answering, murdered in my own home. Answering questions? <laughs> He's afraid of that. He's legit afraid I'm of that. I'm legit afraid of being Dude, murdered he, in my I'm, house. I'd be like afraid like someone breaking in my house as I'm taking a shit. <laughs> and it's like, and like a like big one. Be like, hold on. <laughs> and it's a big one. <laughs> Give me a second. I only have $3 on my card. It's like, hey, man, this is private property, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is private property, man. You can't do this. Pee on my valued rug. <laughs> That's interesting. That, I mean, he peed on your fucking rug. <laughs> That's interesting, man. That's interesting. <laughs> that, room, that rug really tied the room together. <laughs> Such a good movie. If you could get a, or if you could name a yacht, what would you call it? A yacht. SS Minnow Johnson. SS Rush Hour. Ooh, nice. I do. Uh, I'd probably name it. I don't know. The floater. <laughs> <laughs> the floater. I don't know what I'd name it. I have no idea. I'd name it like "fuck you," both like Asian symbols. <laughs> <laughs> Asian symbols. Those used to, they used to be so in, huh? Yeah. Like everyone. I wonder how many people out there have them. The tattoo is mm-hmm. Asian. Or Chinese, whatever it is. Both. If you could be any nationality, what would you be? <laughs> I mean, we can be, can't we? Like, we could just say whatever we want Ooh, now. Ooh, it's true. Yeah. Pow. That's, that's, that's why I'm... Pow, right. I'm just, I'm just so proud of being African-American. <laughs> I would never change. I want to be bike for a day, maybe two, maybe a week. 
So you want a few days off? <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you, don't have, you don't have any. You don't, you don't have any PTO. <laughs> That's so funny. I had a I had a joke similar to that because I said I went on to um, Twenty Three and Me, like to see what what where I came from, where my ancestors are, because I have a lot of I'm a lot of I'm a mix with a lot of things, and I found out like I'm ten percent African American, or just ten percent African. And I didn't know what it was because, like, I can't dance. I can't run very fast. And I found out it's all in my dick because <laughs> it only works 10% of the time. <laughs> That's funny. Disclaimer, I'm not racist. I am. It's a good joke, though. That is a good one. <laughs> so you want days off. That was so funny. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> We're at about two fifteen. You know what I want? Two hours and fifteen minutes? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know what always gets me is, so people say, if you could go back, if you could talk to someone that's dead, and they say, you know, my grandpa or my dad or something. I mm-hmm. get it if something tra- tragic happened and you didn't get to spend as so much time with them, but mm-hmm. that's why we have life, like to spend time with them, right? Mm-hmm. Like I'd pick like Leonardo da Vinci or something. Like someone that was gone. Someone what if what if you bring him back and he doesn't speak English? <laughs> Shoot it, he's like fucking Italian. <laughs> Marcus Aurelius too. Because they they spoke something different back in the Roman Empire. Yeah. It was like there wasn't Italian, it's like some Roman different Roman dialect. That'd I didn't funny. even think about that, you, dude. You can talk to anyone you want. <laughs> it's like, oh shit, I made a bad <laughs> choice. It's like three hours of life. <laughs> Are you thirsty? <laughs> Do you want some water? Dang, that's a good point. At least we have Google Translate. It's mm-hmm. true. Might help. Have you heard, um, have you heard of Nate Bargacy? Bargacy? He's a he's a stand up comedian, and he talks about like if I had a time machine, and I went back in time, like I'd be like, hey, you guys know, uh, you see that phone? We have cell phones in the future. It's like, oh, really? How do they work? It's like, oh, uh, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> Satellites, maybe. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> um, right. yeah, you couldn't explain anything. Yeah. And then they'd be like, "Who's the next president?" He's like, uh, uh-huh. Abraham Lincoln. And you're gonna, you're gonna love that guy. <laughs> he's a, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's like, if I went back in time, I'd probably just have to get a job as a waiter. Like I'd be doing, I'd be doing worse than I am right now. <laughs> Stable <laughs> boy, you brushing horses. You wouldn't know anything. No skills. You wouldn't have no skills. You wouldn't be able to do anything. That's funny. I never thought about it like that. Was he a key comedian? Yeah, he's so funny. He's like he's like super chill, laid back type of guy. That's so true. Yeah, the skills we have now would not correlate. My at experience all. from the past four years would mean nothing. Your woodworking would. Oh yeah, that's true. Good Never mind. I'll be good. Woodworking would. <laughs> I'll be good, guys. I'll be I'll be carpentry. Ass. Mine would. I could be like a musician. Maybe. Making furniture. That's about how far you went back. They don't have pianos or a guitar. What they have like a satire or something. A satire. What are they called? <laughs> A satire? Satire is like... Is that a, satire? A, port of hu- a no, part of humor? No, I thought it was a... A sitar. A sitar. <laughs> Not a satire. A sitar. The, what's go. a sitar? It's a... S-I-T-A-R? It's like an Indian... It's like, <laughs> it's like an Indian guitar. <laughs> sitar it is. Sitar. Oh, okay. That's a big-ass guitar. Yeah. It's got a really long neck. A lot of strings. <laughs> that looks too hard. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> or depending on what mood I was feeling, that could have been what he said too. <laughs> That's whatever gender they prefer to be called said. That's what they said. Me too. That's whatever the bitch touching my dick <laughs> said. <laughs> Whoa. That was too harsh. I'm offended. Y'all don't know her. Y'all don't know her. All right. Whoa. Y'all don't know her. I like your Tupac poster. Thank you. Wouldn't it be cooler though if it said 1971 to and like unknown? Or mm-hmm. it should be unknown because he's still alive. You think he's alive? He's about to drop a mixtape. I thought I saw him in Dallas one time. It's a hologram. He goes under the name Ja Rule. <laughs> so <laughs> Ja Rule. He got punched by Fifty Cent. <laughs> he got yeah. punked. He's he's a little different than he used to be. So this is a funny story. Never thought you'd run across this. We're, Rudy was, we were at the house the other day, and uh, Journey was there playing with her little toys. And she goes, hey, shorty. 
it's your birthday, (laughs) right? And Rudy goes, how do you know that song, Journey? She goes, what song? She goes, how do you know that? And she goes, what song? How do you know that song you're singing? She goes, I'm not singing a song. She goes, this, my toy's name is Shorty. Really, they have these little names. Really? Her name's Shorty. So we start laughing. (laughs) When in your life did you ever think you would hear that and it not be connected to old Fitty Scent? Yeah, that was pretty weird. Yeah, it sounded exactly like it. But she's never heard the song. Yeah, but she was just singing to her little toy named Shorty about her birthday. (laughs) (laughs) Like, isn't that crazy? So funny. Yeah. I was thinking I'm getting so old. There you go. It just means like her and 50 Cent are like on the same, <laughs> same level. level. Same level. Instagram rapper. Has he, has he been doing songs? No, he's, he's been he's, more movies. He's hasn't he? doing like acting. He's, he's doing, doing a lot right. of entrepreneur I like, stuff. I like 50 Cent. He's hilarious. He is funny. I like seeing him go at Floyd, Floyd Mayweather, dude. Yes. Yeah, if you can read a Harry Potter book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. He said a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> that he donated 100000 <laughs> Yeah. If you, without stuttering, if you could read it, that's so <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> he does this a lot. Of, he, he was going after Wendy Williams recently because she said something about him, and he was roasting the shit out of her. That's right. I saw that. It was so it funny. Was so funny. I don't know why you would go after people like that. <laughs> like people that could just, like even comedians. Why would you try to heckle? Yeah, a like why would why would Logan Paul go after Chris D'Elia and say he's yeah he's a failing comedian because he thinks he's. You know, he's surrounded by all those people. He thinks he's surrounded by all those twelve years old. Yeah. Those twelve year olds, they pumped up his self esteem. You know, and- it's it's funny, that's exactly what Chris Delia said. Like I'm I don't know if you listen to his podcast. Yeah, I, lo- I love his it. podcast. He was like like he was like, This guy doesn't know me and he doesn't follow me and all of his people don't follow me and he's like he has no idea <laughs> when he's coming at me, like what I'm gonna that's do funny. to Because he Logan Paul was like, I don't know what's worse, being a shunned vlogger. Or a 30-year-old comedian making fun of the shun vlogger. <laughs> Obviously, the shun vlogger is worse, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> obvious. What's wrong with being a 30-year-old comedian? Is that why he's stopping? Because he got shunned? That's why what? That's why he's quitting? I don't I don't think he's quitting. I think he's still going. He's oh. still going. He said he was quitting, but... I, may, I don't know what, what he's doing with his career. If you could punch three people, who would it be? Oh, that's a good one. I... Walker, Texas Ranger. There ain't no way that's happening. Yeah, that's just you impossible. Get a roundhouse kick to the <laughs> face. <laughs> you get that boot heel right on your chin. <laughs> Steven Seagal. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. You're making the impossible. Like, who's next? Going, going, going for it. Next. Next. And, and, and Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably punch Will We Go Rick three times. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you fighting her? My money's on her, bro. That's the predator. I mean, she doesn't have eyebrows. That's the predator. <laughs> She's a little more aerodynamic. Yeah, dude. Your punch is going to slide off that greasy face. <laughs> it's like she's... <laughs> You're just going to slide off, bro. That's the defense, man. That's the defense. Roll with the punches. Roll, like literally, just slide off her face. Who would you punch? I'd probably punch... Let's see. I'd probably go Bill, Bill Cosby. <laughs> I feel bad if I punch Bill Cosby. I, w- <laughs> I would punch Bill what Cosby. What if he died? <laughs> I would punch Bill Cosby. I would punch... Oh, let's see. What did Bill Cosby ever do to you? He's such a happy guy. I just want to punch him, man. Fuck Bill Cosby. I don't give a shit about Bill mm-hmm. Cosby. <laughs> Never brought me any joy. Unless I punched him. Bill Cosby. Let's see here. I don't know who the other two would be. Bill Cosby just because. He raped chicks, dude. That's fucked up. It is. It is fucked up. And I don't care how funny he is. And I like his autograph. So maybe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> fat Al- I want to tell him how, how much Fat Albert can you sign, affected my life. Can you sign this roofie for me? <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know who else. Bill Cosby, maybe. Floyd Mayweather. I'll, I'll switch him with Godzilla. <laughs> You're swapping out Godzilla. <laughs> there you go. That's a smart move. I'd try to hit Floyd Mayweather. I probably couldn't. He's too fast. It's I'd the thing. Try. Like You do get to hit him. I'd try. That's part of the guarantee. You think you could knock out a notorious, what's his name? 
Connor. Connor. Think you can knock him out if he just stood there. No. 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 I don't no. think I could knock out Floyd Mayweather. I don't think I could knock out Bill Cosby if he stood there. <laughs> He's just standing there. I don't think I have, I have that no much I, power. I have no idea what my power is. I don't I have no idea this power. <laughs> Give me your best shot. There we go. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Open palm. Uh, I learned from this guy who knew uh, – that Israeli fighting style. Krav Maga. Krav Maga. Yeah, he was like, I always hit with an open palm, as opposed to a fist, and I don't know why, but that's what he said. And he also said, I always go for the nose and the throat and the eyes. So you can kill him, no, incapacitate him, <laughs> and then rape him, <laughs> <laughs> and then have your way with him. That's that's how Cosby did it. <laughs> that's how oh, Cosby did it. Very unique fighting style. Almost got away with it too. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Now, I don't know who the third one would be. I'd have to think about it. You think Cosby's going to get like great treatment in the prison he's in? I think he's going to kill himself. You think so? Yeah. His daughter died, killed herself, right? What? I didn't know that. Look it up. I don't want to say something wrong. I already said it. But I thought she'd killed herself or she died from something. And only child and she was 40-something. And... I don't know. If he kills himself, that's just, just going to be sad. Sadder than saying. what? Spending the rest of his life in jail. Died at 44. Yeah. Re- renal disease. Oh. Enza Cosby was one of five children. Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Let's get our facts straight here. Thanks a lot. Let me text my uh Let me see. I'm, I'm Googling suicide. Maybe it's a different <laughs> my, my, source, my sources. No, it was Enza Cosby. I guess uh, there was a rumor it was suicide, maybe. Ah. Thank you a lot, TMZ. <laughs> Cause of death was not immediately known. The publication claimed had significant metal is- me- medical issues. She had problems with her kidneys. That's sad. Aww. That is sad. Yeah, but at least she didn't have to see all this shit, right? <laughs> yeah, no fucking joke, dude. Really? That's true, man. <laughs> That's true. There's always an upside. Tyler Perry. Did did you see uh, Bill, oh, Bill, Bill Cosby's wife trying to defend him? No, it's a bad. And saying it had to do with uh, race. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's why they were accusing him. Yeah, that's why they're accusing him. Wait. I've seen a couple people that they were like, "Oh, this this black person got in trouble for this, this and that." And then the last one was Bill Cosby. Like, you're really defending Bill Cosby <laughs> because he's black? You're a fucking maniac. <laughs> you're a fucking maniac. Uh, well, help Bill O'Reilly too, man. Oh yeah, I forgot about him. Touching bitches. He might get his uh, show back. Last I heard. My show back. My show. Remember Dave Chappelle? Honestly, you can do. You're gonna get way better ratings just doing podcasts like this. Yeah. Whatever he's doing right now, he's probably getting way better ratings than he ever did on Fox. Is Whatever he doing? He's is doing, doing podcasts. I don't know what he's doing. He's, he's do, he has his own website. He's doing the same type of thing like the Daily Wire does. Yeah. And it's all online now. And Crowder, which gets a lot more people watching. You guys ready to wrap it up? Yeah, let's do it. What's our sign off? What do we, what do we say? What do we have to do? How do we start this? How do we how do we do this? <laughs> just like you're doing. So you, so, <laughs> just ask questions. So you <laughs> never seen so you never seen Blazing Saddles, right? Uh, no. There's a part where this governor or whatever, he's like in charge mm-hmm. and he's real dumb. And he goes they say he goes, Meeting adjourned and his assistant hit the gavel, you know? Mm-hmm. And he goes, Oh, I'm sorry, sir, you're supposed to say that. And he goes, Say what? He goes, the meeting's, the meeting's adjourned. And he goes, it is? And the guy goes, no, you're supposed to say that. And he goes, say what? The meeting's adjourned. And he goes, it is? And he goes, no, you say that. And he's like, say what? And he goes, the meeting's adjourned. And he's yeah. like, it is? Like, like, dude, it's so funny. You need to watch it. You like Have you seen um, See No Evil? Or wait, is it yeah. See No Evil here? No oh, Evil with dude. Richard Pryor? Pryor. Now that... So Jeez. that part, that part where he's doing the mug shot, he's like, "What?" <laughs> they still watch he's like, "Shit, <laughs> shit." He's like, because he's like, "Hey, look forward." He looks forward, and he's like, "Tell him to help, stay there." And he hits him, "Hey, stay there." <laughs> and he's look like, forward. "She's really pissing me off." <laughs> I like when that dude's interrogating him, and he's like behind him, and he like asks the question, and they're both like. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you have to stand in front of him. <laughs> Dude, that's you hard. heard something and you saw something. <laughs> between between both of y'all heard, you. saw everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great movie, man. Classic, so funny. I watched that. I didn't know about that movie till like probably three or four years ago. I saw well, it same, on Netflix. Same for us. Yeah. Same for us. We didn't know either. Just put it on. So funny. 
Gene Wilder, man, I liked him a lot. Yeah, good actor. Willy good Wonka, actor. man. New Willy Wonka, Charlie. That shit was weird. It's fucking weird. weird. Transgender, man. Weird, dude. He's fluid, <laughs> gender fluid, whatever. <laughs> Johnny, Charlie. Johnny Depp's a weird duck, though. <laughs> I saw a tweet the other day, and it was uh, shit. I forgot how it went, but. Good job. That's, like, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> no, it was like, uh, what are those things called? Oompa Loompa. Okay, it was an Oompa Loompa. And he goes, So basically, we just come out and sing anytime a kid dies? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I saw that too. That's okay. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, the new Oompa Loompa dude is weird. Yeah. That little one. I never saw it. It was just, he looked like a like a little Indian man. He was off of Big Fish and Transformers. Oh, that guy. The little midget dude. Is he a legit midget? I thought he was just a regular sized dude. I don't know. I think he's really little. He's briefly on Transformers 3, I think, when they're going to Egypt, and they drive, and that security guy comes down, and that guy's like, New York. And he's like, oh, New York. And he's like, yeah, and they let him go through. He's like right there. Don't remember. I never – I wait, I watched the third Transformers. That one was super boring. I don't remember the third Transformers. Right. I didn't like the fact that they tried to, like – when Bumblebee was about to die, they had, like, dramatic music. Like, I'm not going to feel sad for a robot. I'm, like, emotionally invested into a robot that's, alien. Yeah, that's right. He's about to get killed. And they're like, oh, my God, no. I don't know. I got <laughs> killed by yeah. – I don't give a shit, bro. They can all die. Leonard <laughs> they're over here fucking up the earth. Leonard Nimoy did <laughs> – Leonard Nimoy was the voice of that bad guy – the bad one. Rip, rest in peace, Spock. Roar. Autobot taking the children Assemble. was a bad move. We shouldn't have came here. I like how in every scenario where aliens come to Earth, we're like that. It's like we have to be friends with them and shit. And somehow we always win. Like they've mastered space travel. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, <laughs> somehow we come they out were on top. Trying to bring their planet here. Like they're literally transporting their planet here. And and we win. Oh, he Always. found their only weakness. Bullets. Oh, dang it. <laughs> dang it. Did that movie with Mel Gibson? They can't stand glasses of water. <laughs> right? Like, why would they come to a planet that's 70% water? Yeah, it's funny as shit. What about, uh, what is it, Battle? Battle Battlefield, Los Angeles? LA or something, yeah. I thought that was cool. That was pretty legit. That shit, that shit was funny, too, though. He's like, aim for the chest. Like, no shit, dude. Do like, they have <laughs> chests? Like, what do they have? It's like, we dissect the body. The weak point is in the chest. Like, it's what you should have been aiming for from the beginning. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> surprise, surprise. This is going to change everything. Aim at the biggest part of their body. Aim at that front middle area. That was cool. Have you seen uh, District 9? Oh, dude, that yeah. Sh- that was really cool. I love District 9. They're supposed to be doing another one. Really? District 10. Yeah, and that, that was dude, really interesting, the way they Funny thing, that. that guy wasn't supposed to be the actor, the main actor. They didn't have one. They didn't have an actor for the movie. And he was one of the producers, and they asked him just to read the lines so they can go through it with the other actors. Mm-hmm. And when as he started reading it, as he was going, everyone was like, dude, you should do it. It was magical. Because he'd never been in anything before that, and now he's in a lot of stuff. Hell yeah, that's what happened to uh, what the shit? that really big black girl. I was going to say Princess. Precious? Precious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was her first role, and she won an award, and now she's on Is she a bunch still of acting? Things. Yeah, she was, uh, she was on that show horror stories or whatever it's big on netflix american, american, horror, american story. horror story yeah and she's been on a couple of movies nothing big nothing like a main she role she was a pretty good actor though yeah. I've, never, I've never seen that she acts pretty well pretty good i've never seen that movie precious never it just that. it looks depressing i only saw parts of it but basically she just has a horrible life and she gets pregnant and her mom beats her and smokes crack and just very dreary you know <laughs> You sure you want to be black for a day? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not going to be. Kidding. I'm not going to be precious. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, use protection. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Who's to say you wouldn't be precious? That's right. That's dude. true. What if I come back as precious? That's right, dude. What would I do? I'd probably. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start thinking about it. He's depression March. set in. Depre- March. <laughs> I'll tell you what not to do. Don't stand in front of cars on the highway. <laughs> Don't do that. Probably would just be like a power lifter. Oh, yeah. Become well-known. Start Instagram. Always looking forward. <laughs> 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 Fucking one-man oh. army. Army of one. Army, army of, of one. one. <laughs> Have you seen Chris Delia's bit on deer? On deer hunting? I think so. Oh, man. that That's what I first saw of him, and I showed him. It makes me laugh so damn much. 
His his body movements are, are it's, hilarious. It's, it's, oh, when he does Keanu Reeves, have you seen that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, he's moving his hair uh, back and forth. Uh, uh, yeah, that's good stuff. Legend man, Chris Lee. We should go see him somewhere. I think the closest he's going back to San Antonio. He's on tour right now. I don't know where he's going to be. San Antonio and Austin. We should look at tickets. I don't we, think he's going to be back in Colorado. We, we missed Bill Burr, but since he went on that political thing on his last one, I was like, I didn't hear it. Yeah. It was a little bit political for me. Well, like Dave Chappelle, when I watched his special, mm. loved it. And when he started getting political, I just... Yeah, he kind of zoned out. Turned it off, yeah. Bill Burr doesn't get that political, though. I feel like. Because Bill Burr calls himself liberal, but like he's not anything like most liberals. Nah. I feel like he leans more right than he actually realizes. <laughs> Look at that OCD at its finest. Nice. You can't be OCD and making a mess. No, OCD, that's true. OCD doesn't mean it's a you, contradiction. OCD doesn't mean you have to clean. Some people are obsessive compulsive, and they have to clean. Want to be like? Want to be ADHD? I have to twist stuff. <laughs> I have to twist. Stuff. And when I get mad, <laughs> <laughs> I twist dicks off. <laughs> so that's another reason you would have a that boob on your hip. <laughs> just be twisting, twisting that, that Hershey kiss nip, dude. Just be tw- just be twisting it. You're gonna have a nippy nipple installed. <laughs> little <laughs> nippy, <laughs> little nippy installed. Little nippy. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little nippy, two nips installed on my hips. <laughs> Getting a little nippy. In I got here. I got nips on my hips. Got to get a bra for your hips. <laughs> Just wear tights all the time. What's our sign off? Sign off is Shabuya. Shabuya, brought to you by. No, I can't say that. <laughs> brought to you by AT and T. I didn't say. Brought to you by AT and T and the Cheese Factory. Josh works for. <laughs> yep. And also Farm State. Call me for a quote. <laughs> <laughs> Farm State. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, world. Till next time. <laughs>